All right, ladies and gents, as ever, my name is Shane. That's Shane is Games, and tonight we will be playing Snatcher for the Sega CD. This won't be our first time playing it, so if you want to see how we got to where we are tonight, or check out some of the games we played in the past, be them obscure, unusual, or nostalgic, feel free to check out my YouTube channel. But for tonight, let us go ahead and get into the game here. Now, see, this is one thing that kind of irritates me about the game, is you notice here on the save screen, it shows what your playtime is for each save file. But when you're actually saving your game, it doesn't tell you that. It's just like, what slot do you want? One, two, three, or four. So I like to do rolling saves. And as you can see, I'm doing a pretty good job of it there. But you kind of just have to remember where you saved last. And that can be dangerous. But like I said, so far, I seem to be doing okay. So we're going to start down here. <laughs> All right, so quick recap, we are playing a guy named Gillian Seed, who is an amnesiac who has joined a special organization called Junker that hunts down killer androids called Snatchers that have been uh, killing and impersonating important people across Japan. Uh, he is uh, currently working a murder case along with his partner, a tiny little robot named Metal Gear Mark II. He's adorable, we love him. Uh, we've learned a couple things so far. We've learned that uh, Snatchers tend to operate mostly in winter. We don't know why. They tend to operate mostly at night due to a flaw with their skin. It gives them melanoma. Uh, we also know that wherever they are, there's typically a pollen called Snow 9 that is an allergen. So many people get sneezier on them. <laughs> it is a Kojima game. Yeah, the soundtrack's also very good. Uh, so right now, we are about to investigate an illegal nightclub called Outer Heaven. Speaking of Kojima references. What? A weapon to surpass Metal Gear? <laughs> Commander Keen, welcome in. How are you doing today? All right, so... Uh, let's head inside. Ah, wait a moment, please. We're in the middle of masquerade hour. You'll need some kind of mask or costume if you want to go in. Need to have one of our exclusive masks from Plato's Cavern. Oh, I'm afraid I can't let you in. I suggest you purchase a mask over at Plato's Cavern. We look forward to your next visit. Luckily, I already have one of those. So, possessions, use, mask. Alright, let's try on the mummy mask. Oh, that looks great on you. Yeah, bless you. <laughs> 4M, welcome in. How are you doing today? Hope we're doing good. Yes, Commander Keen, a fantastic boss right there. We have been trying to play through every game. On stream, we've been trying to play through every game that Hideo Kojima has directed that isn't Metal Gear. And aside from, uh... Aside from Death Stranding, which I played myself off stream, I think this is the last one we have to do, which is exciting. Uh, let's see. Doesn't look like we have anything else to talk to him about here. That's yeah, a little worrying. There it is. All right, let's head inside now. Table for one, please. We are inside Outer Heaven. So if you look in the crowd, you may or may not notice some uh, video game inside jokes among the patrons here. If you happen to notice any, feel free to shout them out. But uh, there's definitely a couple inside jokes among the patrons here, and I would love to see who spots them. <laughs> Let's see. Oh my god, yes, sure. I love the music in this game. I love, love, love the art in this game. It's gorgeous. <laughs> Kissa, welcome in. Hope you're doing good. Let's see. The only Kojima game I have is the base non-director's cut of Death Stranding, which I got as an epic freebie. <laughs> I just beat uh, Death Stranding a few weeks ago. I really loved it. I thought it was fantastic. 
Uh, I was playing the director's cut, though. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's see. Look inside club. The other customers are all dressed up in various costumes. It appears to be showtime now. Who's that guy over behind the counter? He appears to be the manager of the place. <laughs> yeah, weird. Uh, I don't know why both of us are playing uh, Death Stranding at the same time, Emperor. Pretty wild. I don't think Street Fighter is one of the references, but I see who you're looking at, Board Jams. Let's see, look. There don't seem to be any tables open. The place appears to be quite popular. Yep, Malkil, you guessed one of them. <laughs> if you're thinking of the guy all the way over on the right, that is indeed Rocket Knight. And yes, I believe that is Dracula and Simon over all the way over on the left. <laughs> it's not Duke Nukem. I think the two guys with the headbands, if I remember correctly, are the Akari Warriors. Um, I believe so. Yeah, the Contra, Contra slash Akari Warriors guys, I think. Yeah, that's what I'm, th I'm pretty sure they're the Contra dudes. <laughs> I'm not sure who that last guy is. That last guy, I'm not, I don't actually know. Let's see. All right, nothing else to see there. Look, customers. Everyone is dressed as a character from a classic late 20th century video game. People who run this place must be really into old time nostalgia. You're thinking he is going on? That's pretty awesome. The funny thing is, this is another thing that was changed from the Japanese version. Because in the Japanese version, they were all video game references as well, but they were different video game references. Which is kind of amazing. Oh, here we go, here we go. They actually say. So let's look Sparkster. Hey, isn't that the guy who fought against the evil pigs from the Devo Tindos Empire? Oh yeah, the rocket guy. What's his name? Spinster? Spunster? Parkster? <laughs> that customer with the spiky haircut is dressed as Goemon, the mystical ninja. You're right! Boy, was that a really great game. Those designers are really brilliant. The Goemon haircut became a real cultural icon. Japanese motorcycle gangs started to all wear their hair like that. I have doubts. Hey, Broken Crow, welcome in. How are you doing today? Nope, nope, wrong thing. Mr. Ueda. That fellow is dressed as a character from the controversial video game Lethal Enforcers. Oh, interesting. That was quite a stir in the 1990s when two senders from the US started a two-man crusade against video game violence. Those same two senators were later voted out of office in a humiliating landslide where their constituents decided that they wanted representatives who would do something about real violence on the streets. Holy shit, yes! <laughs> Snatcher, this one's going to you, buddy. Deathblow, welcome in. How are you doing today? What were you playing in the stream? Tell me everything. And yes, Lethal Enforcers was the one with the two light guns. I will always remember it for when you put your uh, coin in, you heard a big voice go, Lethal Enforcers. <laughs> Let's see. Wait, Broken Crow, did I choose the name? No, this is a game by Hideo Kojima, and he put a bunch of uh, Metal Gear references in here. So our little robot buddy is named Metal Gear Mark II because he looks like the Metal Gear boss from the NES Metal Gear. Um, also, the club we're in right now is called Outer Heaven because Hideo Kojima. <laughs> so this game is full of little Metal Gear references. It's adorable. So what kind of Death Stranding game gets weirder and weirder? It does, it does. I hope you're still enjoying it though. Oh yes, I believe that game also spawned a whole generation of imitations, didn't it? Yep, that's true. A lot of companies produced inferior copies, but none matched the success of the original. Matter of fact, that game was used in the Academy for training purposes. 
amazing how people can use a simple video game as an excuse for all of society's problems. It's always easier to point the finger at the other guy than it is to point it at yourself. Human nature hasn't changed at all since then, huh? <laughs> Just got zip lines. Zip lines are one of my favorite things in the game. There is a section later on in the game where zip lines just trivialize the whole thing, and I love it. <laughs> hey, LTG, welcome in. How are you doing today, LTG? Hope you're doing good. Glad to have you with us. <laughs> I will try, Deathblow. Thank you again for bringing your community by. I appreciate that. Uh, let's see. Contra! That customer is dressed as the Contra character. I'm starting to sense a theme here. How about you, Gillian? Yeah, me too! I guess you and I are pretty out of place alone among all these Konami characters, huh, Metal Gear? Hmm, I wouldn't say that. As a matter of fact, I suspect that we fit in better than you realize. What the heck are you talking about, Metal? These are all fictional video game characters. We're the only real ones in here. Fourth wall, what is it? <laughs> Chris Technician, it was so hot. It was so hot. It got to uh, 100 degrees Fahrenheit here today. It was brutal. I'm glad not to be working there now. <laughs> is that Sparkster? That is Sparkster. Next to Sparkster is the two characters from Konami. And next to them is Goemon from Legend of the Mystical Ninja. And next to him is Dracula and Simon Belmont. Because Konami. Castlevania pair. Those two are pretty suspicious looking. They appear to be dressed as characters of the famous Castlevania series of video games from the late 20th century. Yeah! Wow, that really takes me back. I remember spending hours playing it. I didn't even take time off to go to sleep. Wait a minute. What am I talking about? I wasn't even bored then. Must have been thinking of somebody else. But I'm sure I remember playing it. I remember I was so pissed because I couldn't jump off the stairs. Everyone felt that way, Gillian. It was very frustrating. According to statistical records, the teenage suicide rate increased dramatically in that year. <laughs> I don't think that's true. <laughs> I know, LTG, don't forget we're in a club right now called Outer Heaven, which is amazing. <laughs> Rook's Honor, welcome in. How are you doing today? Doc Belvin, good to see you. Hope you're doing good. What's the dinner report? I just had some McDonald's. A uh, 20-piece nugget and a McChicken. It was tasty. That is a very dark joke, but also it did suck that you couldn't jump off the stairs. <laughs> Alright, what else we got? Look, Dancer. Savor the moment, Gillian. Her dancing is really something special. I see. You weren't kidding, were you? everything to see there. Let's investigate. Inside club. During masquerade hour, everyone has to mask or makeup on. It's impossible to tell who is who. You pick it up or had it delivered? Pick up. Pick up. <laughs> Sparkster was definitely a very hard game. Uh, let's see. Investigate customers. Investigate Sparkster. Hey, what are you doing? The customer wasn't carrying anything suspicious. Hey, he looked turned around! He turned around! <laughs> oh, it's amazing! <laughs> Investigate customers. Goimon. Hey, what are you doing? The customer wasn't carrying anything suspicious. I love that they turned around. It's so cute. <laughs> uh, Mr. Ueda. Unfortunately, we couldn't learn anything. <laughs> uh, let's see. Contra! <laughs> it's so cute! And also the Castlevania pair. Alright, nothing to investigate with them. <laughs> Vampire sharing glass of wine with the priest. Weird times. Weird times. Uh, let's see. Call. Uh, call manager. Sure. 
I'll call the manager over. Whoa! God, that's a mask I have. Hello, can I help you with something? That's one of the characters from Cosmic Debris. Wow, you really know your stuff, don't you? I have no idea what that is. Would you mind if I check this out? What? Are you one of those types? He seems to be built quite well. All four eyes blink and they blink sideways? That's a hell of a mask, then. <laughs> Sir, this isn't a mask, this is my face. Let's see, ask about Gibson. Let's see, I'm afraid I don't know who that is. Do you have a photograph? I do, actually, yes. The possessions show photo Gibson. Who is this? I'm afraid I don't know him. You see, nearly half of our operating hours is masquerade hour, so I wouldn't know if he was here or not. Yeah, that's a problem. That's that's fair, though. Let's see, ask about Isabella. She'll be dancing here through the end of the month. Look, she's at it right now. She's between pictures at the moment, so we had her dance for us. She's one of the top in the business right now. We're the only club that she'll dance at, you know. This is what the average Sega CD player looks like. I'd believe that. Cosmic Debris is just a copy of Asteroids. Huh, interesting. Thank you for looking it up, though. I appreciate that. Ask about Buffalo Cuisine. Would you care to try some? It's really a unique flavor. Anything else you can tell us? Isabella danced for a while here, long before she got famous, you know. That's why she comes back every now and then. I've noticed since she was a lot younger, but she's hardly changed. She's a good kid. Alright, that's all for that. Let's ask about the buffalo some more. Nope, nothing else there. Um... See, is there anything we can show him here? Not really. Alright, I think we've learned about everything we can from here. <laughs> well, I guess. Yeah, no, there's nothing else here. Um... Thanks for your help, sir. You've been very cooperative. Oh, really? Well, take your time. Enjoy yourself. I know it is, Broken Crow. I still haven't gotten my head around it. It's wild. I'm so glad I'm able to show it off for you folks, too. Alright, call... Customers. Uh, let's, let's call over Sparkster. I'll call Sparkster. Yeah, what do you want? Um... Uh, the only thing we can ask him about is Gibson, and they're not gonna know, I don't think. Nope, I ain't never seen him. Uh, show... Gibson's photo? Ooh, a movie actor? No. Sorry. Thanks, sorry to bother you. This isn't working. It doesn't appear we'll be able to get anything worthwhile. Alright, can we call over the dancer then? I I wouldn't blame you, Broken Crow. It's it's probably not worth the price that it is unless you really desperately want it. And I do. I do. Yeah, it's, it's pretty interesting to have that cat. So, like, it's it's made by Konami, but yeah, it was a Sega CD game, which is interesting. I'll call Isabella. Hey, Isabella, over here. <laughs> oh, that actually worked. Holy shit, why did that work? Yeah, why did that actually work? <laughs> Hi there, boys. I'm Isabella Velvet. Is there something I can do for you? A mummy and a robot? Oh my god, what a knockout! And that leather outfit! What's wrong? Do you find me attractive? Uh, yeah? <laughs> oh my god, LTG, that's amazing. 
Hey, Grogu, welcome in. How are you doing today? Hope you're doing good. This is definitely the horniest game Kojima has ever made, by miles. Jeez, look at the size of those eyes on her. It's amazing what 21st century technology is capable of. What's wrong, Gillian? Gotta love those actresses. Jamie looks like a little boy compared to this woman. Gillian, what are you mumbling about? Please don't stare at me like that. I'm shy and you're embarrassing me. <laughs> now, now, don't you let those eyes wander with someone as gorgeous as me standing right in front of you. Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> All right, let's see, ask, ask video phone number. Isabella, would you mind giving me your phone number? No way. Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> Let's see, ask about Gibson. I don't know who you're talking about. Do you have a picture or something? I do. Pull that out. This guy? I might have met him somewhere. No, I can't remember. She seems like she might be able to remember. All right, let's show it to her again. Take a careful look, okay? Hmm. Oh, that's right. This is the guy who got sick after eating buffalo. I remember him. All right, so we've established that uh, uh, Jean-Jacques was here on the night he was killed. That's a big deal. That is progress right here. <laughs> Mal kill that would be pretty on uh, on brand, wouldn't it be? <laughs> Grogu, perfect, perfect. Chugaboom, we hope not, but we don't know yet. Welcome in, Chugaboom. And regular alien, hope you're doing good today. Alright, so ask about Gibson. Well, it was just another day. It wasn't masquerade hour, so I remember his face pretty clearly. He seemed to be waiting around for one of our regular customers. A regular? He was going out of his way to eat buffalo, then spat up blood. I was really grossed out. You say he was waiting for someone. Well, I suppose it was more like he was following him. He left as soon as the other guy did. Alright, ask about that man. I uh, hope you can uh, get to sleep in a bit, regular alien. I'll keep my fingers crossed. I mean, Jean-Jacques wasn't a snatcher. He was just a dude who was killed by a snatcher. Oh, jeez, Rin. Hopefully it uh, stays on now. Would you mind telling me a little about him? I don't know his name, but he was here all the time. Especially when we weren't running Masquerade Hour. Outside of Masquerade Hour. So that means you've seen his face then. Do you remember it? I think so. All right, Metal, let's have her come down to headquarters with us. We need to use Jordan to put together a montage. We can't take her to headquarters. Why not? Well, it's like the manager said. She's a star actress. If the media were to find out about this, we'd never get any cooperation ever again. What are you mumbling about? Ugh, this is really a delicate issue. Although inconvenient, we should take down her description and then go back to headquarters to build the montage on our own. Oh, that is inconvenient. Kissa, welcome. Thank you so much for the 47 month resub with a message. Oops. Thank you so much for all the support, Kissa. I appreciate the heck out of that. And it is a pleasure to have you with us. How are you doing today now that you can hear? Hope you're having an awesome week so far and uh, welcome in. All right, I'm gonna have to take some notes here, I suspect. <laughs> that man, we hunting the gear maker? Very timely, I'd say. <laughs> All right. Things are good. Made chili yesterday. Nice, nice. All right. So let's ask about that man. Man's activities. He was in here at all different times, so he probably doesn't have a job or work regular hours. All right, that's, that's something, that's something. I've only been here for a month, so I don't know anything about what happened before that. Fair, that's fair. All right, that's all she got to say about his activities. Let's start getting that description. 
Could you try to remember his distinguishing characteristics? Gillian, keep the description in mind. Afterwards, we can use it to put together a montage. Oh god, we need a montage! <laughs> I think they mean a collage? I feel like... I don't think that montage is the right word. What was the overall shape of his face? He had a kind of bony look. Oh god! This is gonna be really hard. Um... Bony... Face... Facial shape, bony! What about his eyes? He had this really piercing gaze, a rather threatening look. Oh god, I'm never gonna be able to do this, am I? Piercing... Threatening... Eyes... <laughs> what kind of nose did he have? It was pointy, like mine. Alright, pointy nose. <laughs> How about his mouth? He had thin lips, I think. Thin... How is he wearing his hair? It was sort of naturally flowing towards the back of his head. And he had a big widow's peak. Alright. Flowing back. Widow's peak. How is he wearing his hair? On his head, mostly. <laughs> But I'm ching. Uh, let's see. About how old would you say he was? He looked like he was in his 30s. Alright. I'll see if she can give us any more detail about any of these. Nope, same thing there. Alright. Thanks very much. You've been quite helpful. I hope you can use this information. Alright, um... Do something! <laughs> we can ask for an autograph. Crunchy Audio, thank you for letting me know. I appreciate that. <laughs> He's a freaking vampire? I hope not. I'm pretty sure we're at looking for Jack Nicholson. Oh god, I don't want to arrest Jack Nicholson. Yeah, we can ask her out on a date, because, of course, Gillian has his eyes on the prize at all times. Ugh. <laughs> Which version of Jack? I was picturing uh, the shining Jack Nicholson myself. That's usually about where I think of him as. Also, Dame Karen, holy crap, that emote combo up there. I just noticed that. Here's Johnny. <laughs> All right, ask for autograph. Um, uh, c could I have your autograph? Autograph? Let's see. I don't have anything to write with, so... Oh, how about this? Smooch. Whoa! Ah, I saw that. I'm telling Jamie. <laughs> do something ask out on date. What time do you get off work today? Are you trying to invite me somewhere? You have to come on stronger than that. So a kiss just isn't good enough for you, huh? Oh god! <laughs> uh, let's see. Ask about future projects. That's right. You know, I have a new holographic movie that starts shooting next month. And I have to start studying my lines, so... And I've got a virtual reality job coming up, too. That does sound like something you try there. Metal Gear is a terrible wingman. <laughs> uh, ask about taste in men. What kind of men do you like? Let's see. Somebody really masculine you can depend on. 
You know, the kind of guy who grabs you and says, Come on, baby, follow me. Somebody with well-formed opinions. But I hate guys who aren't flexible. Well, that about rules you out, Gillian. You shut up! <laughs> so you must be wrong with my phone. It doesn't have your number in it. <laughs> I think my best, the, my favorite ridiculous pickup line a friend of mine taught me. Um, we were discussing at a party terrible pickup lines, and hers was my absolute favorite. Which is, she took out her finger, she licked it, and then she poked me on the shirt sleeve. And then she said, ooh, we better get you out of those wet clothes. <laughs> Whew! Whew! <laughs> oh god, LTG! <laughs> Let's see, investigate Isabella. I'll investigate her. No, I think it's best if I handle it. I can manage by myself. What's wrong? Aren't you going to investigate me? No, that's all right. <laughs> Mel kill, I like that one. All right. Uh, I think we got everything we need for right now. You've been a tremendous help. Thank you very much. I'm glad I could be. Now, if you'll excuse me. We should use this information to build a montage of the suspect and then run it through Jordan to see if there are any matches. You mean like building a composite photograph? It would be nice if Isabella would come back to headquarters with us. Ah, I guess we'll just have to make her take a look at it later. Oh, that's true! We can make the composite photograph and then bring it back and ask her if it's close enough. <laughs> Relentlessly! Oh my god, that's amazing! <laughs> Alright, so let's, uh, let's get out of here. Let's see, just a cover charge. That'll be 500 credits. 500?! Here you go, 500 credits. Okay, it's 500 exactly. Thank you. <laughs> Brooks, please. I'm going home. I right, want to save here now. All right. All right, so then move. We get the turbo cycle. Please come again. Gillian, take your mask off. You'll be laughed at if you wear that out here. Oh, good point. There we go. It's off. Alright, we are headed back to HQ. <laughs> Alright. This seems like it's going to be mind-blowingly hard. I have no idea how we're going to get any of these, but we'll see what the interface is like. This game reminds you a lot of AI, the Somnium Files. I am fascinated by visual novels of this era, but so few of them came to uh, English-speaking territories. There's not a lot of selection, which is unfortunate. All right, move. We're heading to the computer room. Yeah, we got, a, we got a mummy mask. It was a choice between a mummy mask or a Moai head mask. So I, I just chose that one. Alright, so use Jordan. It's card. Let's see. Create montage. Montage mode. Select facial parts to assemble complete likeness. All right, let's try constructing a, a montage photograph of the suspect. You can use the scan database command to search for possible matches when completed. All right, facial shape. Isabella said the guy kind of had kind of a bony look, didn't she? Hmm, which one? Uh, what do you think? Shape three, maybe? Uh, 
Five? five? Yeah, I guess five is pretty bony. It could be. Oh yeah, that is another video game reference. I didn't even thought of that. Alright, yeah, five super bony. Let's go with that one. Alright, eyes. What was it that Isabella said? Hmm. For eyes, she said piercing, threatening eyes. Uh, so what do you think? Three, maybe? I'm not convinced that any of the others are all that threatening. Yeah, three is the only one that, like, I don't know, like, six could be? Yeah, six could be, yeah. I don't think three is very piercing. Let's try six. Alright, nose. What kind of nose did Is Isabella say he had? It's really confusing. Her nose, is, she said a pointy nose like hers. And number one is the nose she had, so let's go with that. Let's see, mouth. I'm really baffled here. Her mouth, uh, she said thin lips. Thin lips, so I assume that's number three, I guess? I guess number three. <laughs> Thank you, Rooks. Uh, yeah, let's go with three. Uh, hairstyle. How did Isabella describe his hair? N uh, naturally flowing back with a widow's peak. What do you think that's for, maybe? I'm thinking four. What do you guys think? Two, you think? Is two flowing backwards, though? When you're thinking two? Alright. Let's try two, then. Hmm. Here's the thing. I'm a little curious about the facial shape, is the thing. Because she also said that he looked like he was in his 30s. And, like, number five makes him look friggin' ancient. I guess we'll, we're gonna try running that. But I'm thinking it might be, uh... Maybe... Alright, here. Wait, did I not... Wait, where was Scan Database? Oh, it's right at the top, of course. Dang it! I, I thought I didn't realize it was at the top. I thought it was outside of here. Luckily, I remember everything, so it won't take too long to get uh, through here. Alright. Oh, this is gonna be a nightmare. He did kind of look a bit jokered. I can see that. Alright, nose number one. So some of these seem fairly obvious. Some of these I'm really not sure about. Oh yeah, Roadside Picnic! I've got that one on my uh, to-read list. I hope he enjoys it. Let's try number two here. Let's do scan database. The Alpha One network will be searched for possible matches. No matches located. Maybe the facial shape is wrong. All right, yeah, that's what I was thinking. All right, so facial shape. Let's try, let's try, uh... I don't know, number two or three could be it. I want to try number three. Let's try that. Huh. 
Possible match located. All right, we did it. Good work, Gillian. Two possible matches for montage photograph located. Possibility number one, probability of match 70%. Ivan Rodriguez, air surfer amateur, 27 years old, address 522 South Itadayo SN District. Caution, non-municipal data administration district. Possibility number two, probability of match 65%, displaying data. Freddie Nielsen, taxi driver, no company affiliation, 29 years old. Address, uh, Dormitory Okamoto, apartment number 202, 378 New Okamoto MR District. Family, wife Lisa, age 25. Now printing montage photograph. Gillian, the montage has been printed. Now we're in business. It's a simple two-dimensional rendering of Jordan's three-dimensional data, but it should prove useful anyway. Well, we've got their addresses. Should we pay these gentlemen a visit? One of these men is no doubt the snatcher who killed Jean. We've almost got him now. Let's go investigate the suspects. All right, now we're getting somewhere. LTG, you think of the taxi driver? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need to go to one of these guys first, so I want to hear who you think I should investigate first, Chad. Let me hear. Take a pause! Oh, my God! <laughs> yeah, what do you think? Who should we investigate first out of those two? All right, so go ahead and save here. Save number two. What's your thing of the taxi driver as well? All right. I'm saving because this could get dangerous. All right, let's move to the turbo cycle. Waiting for the white comp test. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> All right, so Freddy is the taxi driver. Let's look into him. Taxi driver as a woman. Why would he be a strip? I mean, classy jazz joint. I don't know. It is mystery. <laughs> I know the art is so good in this game. All right, now heading to Freddie Nielsen's apartment. So remember, there are rules to the investigation in this game, which is that basically I don't have a search warrant until I have, I, and I don't have any right to search him without his consent until I have, uh, in irre irrefutable proof that he's a snatcher. So we need to be a bit careful here. This is Freddie Nielsen's building. According to the data, he lives on the second floor, apartment 202. There's a plate which reads Dormitory Okamoto. Freddie's building down? Absolutely not! Super glad say welcome in. We're the police. We're not supposed to do that. There used to be a tube liner station around this area. It's probably a throwback to that. The sewer system is apparently incomplete. Steam is building up from underground pipes. <laughs> You're not supposed to do that, no. So that means there's underground passages around here. Interesting. <laughs> That's a remnant of before the automatic traffic system was completed. Now it's being used for advertising. It's a two-story, traditional-style apartment building. You can see the window for 202. <laughs> You're a loose cannon, but damn it, you get results. Oh god, yeah, the, the old, old Tex Murphy games there. <laughs> There are turbo cycles and pedestrians moving everywhere. Would Snatchers actually live in an area where they could be seen? Good question, actually. The cover has been sealed to prevent accidents since it's not used anymore. 
sensors and crime prevention cameras are buried here. Alright, let's head inside. This is apartment 202. Second floor, right? Let's head up. Oh, jeez. Cosmic things, oh my god. This is it, apartment 202. It says 202, Fetty and Lisa Nielsen. The door has a peephole. There's no mistake, this is definitely Nielsen's apartment. The door is locked. Alright. Alright, I'll knock. There is no answer. Maybe no one's home. I wonder if someone's in there. Hmm. Alright, I'll knock. Let's see if we can knock again here. Ah, oh, nothing. I'm a junker! Open the door! There's no answer, is there? Hmm. Oh, we're not getting anything here, then. Nope, no response. Alright. It's no doubt an electronic lock system. Anti-crime systems are installed as well. No one is home. I'm not picking up any motion at all. Why don't we try Ivan Rodriguez's place first? Alright, yeah, nobody here, unfortunately. You notice none of the lights are on in the building either, it looks like. Alright, we'll head to the other place then. We can always come back if need be. The <laughs> drug sniffing ferrets! We're not looking for drugs, we're looking for murder robots! <laughs> the compassionate badgers! Oh my god. This is Ivan Rodriguez's neighborhood. According to the data in Jordan, this should be the neighborhood. Murder is strong! Brutal. <laughs> I didn't consider that at all, Broken Crow. This is a whole new paradigm for me. Ah, oh, this place is a real slum. District data retrieval networks haven't been installed in this area. As such, there is virtually no data on the area in this Alpha 1 network. This region is almost completely isolated. Alright, so if somebody wanted to lay low, this seems like more of a neighborhood that you'd want to lay low in. I wonder if anyone is actually living in this area. There is no sign that there has been any maintenance work in some time. It's been completely neglected. Once again, it seems like if you, uh, if you wanted to lay low, it seems like the place to do it. Alright. This place is utterly filthy. There are a few freemen here. Freemen? What are they? Their actual lifestyle is not unlike that of the homeless. See, they're gathered around a the fire. How are they different from the homeless? Unlike the less fortunate, these people have chosen to live like this, often leaving good jobs to do so. It appears to be a form of rebellion towards the over-control of information by the central authorities. They are one of Neo Kobe's biggest problems. Maybe they know something. Why don't we ask them? It's worth a shot, I suppose. They appear to be burning something in an empty barrel. Well, it gets pretty cold at night this time of year. I just hope they didn't. They don't inadvertently start a bigger fire. Let's see, X1, welcome in. How are you doing today? I know the graphics are gorgeous in here, Broken Crow. I love this. I love this. Joda, greetings. How are you doing today? It appears safe. The construction is still sound. This area is an officially recognized slum. It is outside of the Municipal Data Administration Districts. They don't appear to have any problem with illegal parking, or like illegal abandonment. 
Many people apparently still lived in there, and most seem reluctant to move on. Under these conditions, it is impossible to maintain accurate data on who is living where. What? You actually want me to investigate him? That's right. Please, Gillian, be reasonable. An official slum! Be careful. Hazardous smoke is also being emitted by the fire. Because they probably burn anything they find around here. These abandoned cars are probably next. St uh, still tired, but in no longer sore. Hope you were doing better. And thank you for the posture check, Joda. That goes for everybody else, too. Take an opportunity. Stretch a little bit. Sitting too long is bad for your health. Get that blood flowing. Ugh. <laughs> oh, man. I swear I get stiffer every time I do this. <laughs> My poor shoulders. All right. Stretch that out. Oh, there we go. Oh, a lot of pop in there. Thank you for that, Joda. I appreciate that. All right. Ask about Ivan. Hey, you guys. What? I need to talk to you. Yeah? Can you tell me anything you know about a man named Ivan Rodriguez? Ooh, big stretch. <laughs> Is there anybody named that around here? You lie to me and you live to regret it. Ah, now, calm yourself. I'm trying to remember. Well, can you recall anything? Not yet. Oh, jeez. Um... Here, can we show the... Can we show the montage photo? Do you know this man? Hmm? Ah, oh, it's that idiot Ivan! Yeah, that's the fool himself! Where does Ivan live? He's in apartment 301 in this building. That's the kid with the weird board thing, right? I mean, the guy was always in the, uh, in the sky, don't you? I hear he's always surfing. Oh, that guy, huh? I am not sure I understand what you're talking about. He seemed to have come into some money lately. Interesting. I've never been able to figure him out. The kid from Mount Rekha 7! Oh my god. Alright. Ask about Gibson. Who's that? Alright, once again, we gotta show the photo. Show photo Gibson. Who's that? Alright, so they haven't seen uh, Jean Jacques. Grindhouse, welcome in. How are you doing today? Oh, Ivan Rodriguez? You mean that snatcher on the third floor? Yeah, nice guy for a murder robot. <laughs> Kid Cloud Kicker? Oh my god, the references. Fucking Renton. I reckon 7 was a good series, though. Oh, nice, nice. Alright, ask about Snatchers. Have you heard anything about Snatchers in the area? Snatchers? Don't be stupid. Even if there were any around here, you think they'd come after us? There's nobody around here worth going after. I mean, that's true. Great choice of game, how are you liking Snatcher? I'm loving it so far, what a weird, wild game. I love Kojima games though, he's got such a weird vibe to his stuff. And this one's been my white whale for a very long time. It's very hard to get a hold of this game. Ask about background. How long have you been living around here? I used to be a part of the development team that put together the Alpha 1 network. So you were a programmer, huh? What happened? One day, I took a peek at some secret data in Alpha-1. That's impossible. Security on the system is... It was possible for me. Anyway, I saw enough garbage and scum on people in this society and that file to last me a lifetime. People. They could sink pretty low, you know. Yeah, you may be right. Why don't you become free, too? Join us here! You ever get sick of it all? Just drop by. I've got to get my past back before I can become free. Alpha-1 has data on the developmental team in there. Take a look at it when you get a chance. How long do you plan on staying around here? I'm not like the rest of these guys. I want to work. I just can't find any jobs. No ID, right? 
That's right. They won't even see me down at the unemployment benefits office. Find me a job, will you? Are you an immigrant? As legal as they come. I heard all these great stories about the place. Had a lot of dreams. Now look at me. Hacker man! <laughs> they took our germs! Alright, let's go ahead and save here. Because if there actually is a snatcher, this could be very dangerous. So let's go ahead and make a save before we step foot in this building and see what happens. Alright, move. Room 301. Third floor, eh? Well, you won't be able to escape out the window. I'm trying, Rooks, I'm trying. We're at the door to apartment 301. It says apartment 301, Ivan Rodriguez. It's an old style door with a small peephole viewer installed. There is an electric meter, it appears to be for this apartment. It's handwritten, but accurate. No, I have never played or seen this. Fair enough, fair enough. Gillian, why don't we try knocking? Keep looking around first. If someone is watching from the inside, we should be able to see his eye. Oh, he hasn't noticed me out here yet, or hasn't seen. There is a small window to one side of the door. It is an old-style electric meter. The amount of electricity used is displayed visually by a counter and wheel mechanism. Wait a minute! Electricity is being used! I read motion! Someone is in the apartment! Ah, oh, shit. Um... Investigate that window to the side of the door. It's locked. It appears to have been closed for some time. Investigate the door. The door is locked. It's knock. I'll knock on the door. Machine, welcome in. How are you doing today? How is your stream? What are you playing? Tell me everything. And for anybody from Machine Stream who doesn't know me, my name is Shane. That's Shane is Games. I play the obscure, the unusual, and the nostalgic. And today we are playing Snatcher for Sega CD, which I am very much enjoying. Oh, how are you liking the new Armored Core? I am very anxious to hear some opinions about that one. Welcome. You've got mail. That's funny. Bruh, thank you so much for the gift sub to machine right there. Gift sub number 1403. Driving time again, is it? How oh, time flies. Thank you so much for that, Emperor. Excellent game. Some boss fights are frustrating as fuck, but it's still great overall. Excellent, excellent. Who's there? Ivan Rodriguez, I'm a junker. Open up, I got a few questions to ask you. What do you want? First, you open this door. All right, all right, just relax. Sorry it took so long. Whoa! Gillian, watch out! Holy shit! Excellent shot, Gillian, hitting him in the hand like that. That's not exactly how I planned it. Oh, jeez. All right. All right. Let's... Oh, God. All right. Let's, let's look around here. He looks just like the montage, but he has quite a suntan. If he's got a suntan, he can't be a snatcher. Or at least he probably isn't, anyway. This room's really dark. I don't see anything suspicious, though. This room is quite filthy. Wait, there are some trophies over here. 
it's a cheap ray gun purchased on the black market. It says, runner-up, 12th Neo Kobe Air Surfing Championships. I get it, he's an air surfer. So what's the premise here? Uh, it's basically Blade Runner. Uh, there's evil robots called Snatchers that have been killing and impersonating people. And we are on the hunt for someone that is actually a Snatcher here. Uh, let's see. Investigate Ivan. Without a scanning warrant, I cannot perform a full analysis, but a visual inspection reveals no cancerous skin lesions despite his deep tan. There is a great deal of waste packed into an old model electric suction type cleaning device. Apparently, he isn't too concerned about cleanliness. It's a Saturday Night RG-11. This is a toy gun that has been modified to fire real shells. A very low-grade weapon. Hey, Abstractism, I'm doing good. How about yourself? How are you doing? <laughs> you aren't hurt too badly. Well, it took a hit, but considering the gun he used... It appears to be a real trophy. Age organic material and typical sec uh, secretory organisms are all I read. There is no evidence in his garbage that he is a snatcher. Yeah, there is that too, damn it, can't run. Hey, what did you come out shooting for? You shot me once back there, you know? You're a snatcher, aren't you? You got the wrong guy, I swear! He seems to be behaving strangely. Don't let your guard down. Alright, buddy, time to wake up. Well, man, don't shoot, don't shoot! Gillian, while your earlier shot is justifiable as self-defense, killing this suspect would violate Section 5, Article 2 of the Junker Bylaws. You must first have concrete evidence that he is a snatcher. Damn. We should search his bathroom. We may find sunscreen there. Good point. Okay, let's move into the bathroom. Holy crap! <laughs> Little extreme there. Little extreme. <laughs> LTG perfect quote for the moment. This is Ivan's bathroom. My goodness, this place is just as disgusting as the living room. An airboard is leaning against the wall. The tub is filled with dirty water. Wait, there is a bottle here. Maybe it is sunscreen. There is no label. The bottle dif differs significantly from the one at Jean's house. Uh, let's see. Look airboard. It's an airboard. Its design reflects the latest aeronautic technologies. Why <laughs> take a swing and find out? Oh god! The floor is absolutely filthy. It looks more like the floor of a cattle barn than a bathroom. It appears completely unwashed. It's soiled in a striped pattern. Investigate bottle. Metal, analyze the contents of this for me, will you? It's not sunscreen. It's suntan oil. It shows no signs of having been used recently. <laughs> I try it out, machine. Sounds exciting. Soiled in a striped pattern, like there's there's or there was levels of water, I think is what they mean. Sunscreen and suntan oil are like day and night. What's so funny? Just check it out for me. Hmm. There is a crack on the bottom of the board. Something seems to be jutting out. It's a plastic bag. It appears there is some kind of inner chamber in the board. There is some kind of powder in it.
This, these are illegal drugs. Not only that, it looks like Liquid Sky, that powerful stimulant that's killing a lot of its addicts. Oh God, um. Pure Void Juice. We're not a cop, but I mean, we're kind of a cop, sort of. This is a powdered form of Liquid Sky, isn't it? What a horrible smell! Based on your reaction, I would say there is no Snow Nine here either. I detect numerous organic residue and organisms in the water residue here. There is no evidence that there is a snatcher here. So that about explains everything, doesn't it? Yes. It appears that Ivan was simply trying to conceal the fact that he is a drug user. An air surfer, huh? Plenty of suntan oil. Out there soaking up lots of ultraviolet rays. And tanned quite brown by those rays as well. But he doesn't have so much as a pimple. Not what I'd call your typical artificial skin user. Ivan is apparently not a snatcher. All right, buddy, get up. Hey, I only do Liquid Sky, dude. Just once in a while. I swear, I don't touch anything else. Don't hurt me, man. Come on. Call me an ambulance, will you? I'm no cop. I'm a junker. I couldn't care less if you're a buyer, a pusher, or what. What I want to know is if you're a snatcher or human. Gillian, Ivan's skin is healthy. There is no way he could be a snatcher and tan like that without developing melanoma. However, HQ has just transmitted us a scanning warrant. Therefore, under the provisions of Section 18 of the Civil Code, Snatchers and the Protection of Citizens' Rights, I will hereby commence a full bioscan of Ivan. Analysis complete. Ivan Rodriguez is a completely normal Homo sapien. All right. snatcher or whatever now would you please get me a doctor why don't you just put some of your drugs on it hey i wasn't doing anything wrong man the friendly boys from narcotics will be here any time now save your breath for them come on dude i ain't done nothing i'm just in the air surfing i just wanted to win the competition man i needed some money for that okay Hey, it's just drugs, man. Well, Ivan Rodriguez sure wasn't our man. Too bad for him that he happened to look like the snatcher we're after. That leaves Freddie Nielsen. Vino, welcome in. How are you doing today? And Lizard, good to have you with us. How are you doing? It's just drugs, man. <laughs> All right, well, let's head over to Freddy's apartment again, see what we can find out over there. I love it, me too. It's just wild. Ooh. Well, this is our last suspect. Will he be the one we're looking for? Notice the upstairs light's on now. Let's go ahead and save again. Yeah, that light was off before, so... It seems that nobody was home last time we stopped back, but somebody is now. EBS, always be saving! Investigate building. Right, nothing else to see here, but I do see the lights on. Maybe we should go back to the club and make sure we have our details correct. Nah, it's good enough. We're, we're good. 
I'm sure. Don't forget what happened at Ivan's. Be very careful, Gillian. Alright. Excuse me. Alright, I'll knock. There is no answer. Maybe no one's home. I'm a junker! Open the door! There's no answer, is there? Hey in there! Open up! I'm a junker! I got a few questions to ask you! Hmm. It's a very well-built metal door. Alright, yeah, electronic knock system. Hmm. No, no answer. How is Metal Gear knocking without hands? We've seen that he has like a little grabber arm that he can extend before. So that could be it. I don't know how he could make that big knocking noise with that, but you could at least tap on it with that. <laughs> I read motion. Someone is inside. Wonder if he's really not home. Someone's in there. I definitely picked up motion. Hmm. Man, they're open up! Hmm. <laughs> that would be hilarious, Commander. Hmm. The nameplate has an IC chip for data confirmation purposes. There's no mistake. There's no answer. Maybe they cannot hear us. Who is it? I heard a voice. I'm a junker! Open the door! Huh? Hey in there! Open up! I'm a junker! I got a few questions to ask you! A junker? Alright, just a minute. Gillian, please use extreme caution. Huh? A woman? I'm with the junker agency. Is this the home of Freddie Nielsen? Yes, it is. And you are... I'm his wife. Exactly what can I do for you? Uh, uh, a lady? I'm gonna save again. Because that was a whole ordeal getting in here. Alright. Hmm, pretty good looking. Well, investigator, you have good taste in women. It's a rather nice room, well kept and tidy. What's this? There's some kind of map on the wall. The map just doesn't seem to go with the rest of the interior, does it? It's a rather old 2D printed map. What is this map of? It's not Neo Kobe, is it? My apologies, but I'm afraid I need to investigate you, ma'am. I'll handle it. You always say that when we're questioning women. What the? Just what do you think you're touching? I don't see anything unusual. This is a map of the city of Moscow. Moscow, huh? 
The place has been little more than a ghost town since the catastrophe. Yes, but this map was no doubt produced before the catastrophe. What do you want with us, investigator? Weird that she just randomly has a poster of Moscow up on the wall. As a matter of fact, we're investigating your husband on the suspicion that he may be a snatcher. Betty? Betty a snatcher? That's ridiculous. I can't believe that. What, my husband a snatcher? Where did you get a story like that? I have a montage photo I'd like you to look at. Can I take a look at that? Yeah, let's show her the photo. <laughs> James Moore, welcome in. How are you doing today? That's my husband. I can't believe my husband's a snatcher. There must be some mistake. This montage photo is produced using a computer from the testimony of witnesses at a nightclub. Well, it does look like my husband. So? RP girl, me too. Me too. I love this. How are you doing today? Hope you're having a good week. Could be just a coincidence, of course. Gibson, who's that? As usual, gotta show the photo. Is there some problem with that? Alright, so she doesn't recognize Gibson. That's why we need you to tell us about your husband. He's out right now. I'm not sure what time he'll be back. Have you noticed anything strange about your husband lately? Well, now that you mention it, lately he hasn't been in the mood to... Well, uh, you know. Could you be more specific? Uh... Uh, you see, he drives a man to taxi, but lately he's been taking walks at night without going to work. Walks? At night? Well, now that you mention it, he has been acting a little strange lately, but a snatcher. Don't make me keep repeating myself. I have a terrible toothache. Dragon Wright, welcome in. How are you doing today? Have you noticed any changes in your husband's body or health lately? No. His appetite's as big as ever. No, nothing. How about his skin? Anything odd? Skin? Well, I haven't seen much of it lately, but I'm sure it's fine. He was sick last year, but he's been strong as a horse lately. Your husband's a taxi driver, right? Is it one of those underground cabs, a black taxi? Are you trying to frighten me? So it is a black taxi, right? Yes, he drives a black taxi. So what? It'll probably be legalized in April, right? So what's the problem? That's not what we're worried about, ma'am. If your husband's a black taxi driver, then there are no records of his working hours, right? In other words, the only way to establish an alibi for him is to use, uh, use the testimony of others. On Thursday around 8 p.m., was your husband at home or working? Uh, Thursday? Oh, that's right. That was one of his days off. He was home. He was watching the launch of the first colonial expedition to Mars, the Beagle Jerusalem on TV. Are you sure about that? Yes, but that evening I went over to a friend's house. I wasn't with him all night. My friend's brother is the pilot of the Beagle, you know. Hmm. So that would mean that Freddy is two degrees away from an astronaut. We know that Snatchers like to take VIPs. A taxi driver is nobody important. But that would give him access to somebody important. The spouse's testimony can't be used to establish an alimony, alibi, can it? Have you ever been to Outer Heaven? Who's that? Don't worry about it. What's this map? I don't really know. My husband bought it and stuck it up there about four months ago. 
That's <laughs> true, Broken Girl. I don't really know. That's fair. Have you ever experienced any sneezing lately, even though you don't have a cold? Sneezing? I haven't had a cold yet this year. I'm in very good health. What does that have to do with anything? Alright. All these questions are rather annoying. I've had this bad toothache since this morning, you know. Alright. What's with that look on your face? You don't believe me, do you? The interior design points to someone with good taste. There is nothing on the wall besides the map. It's been attached with tape. I've just got the place cleaned up. Don't go making a mess in here. The map is marked in one spot. It says Kremlin. Who decorates their living room with a map of the, the Moscow with the Kremlin labeled? That's just crazy weird. Yeah, let's see. Comrade Snatcher! Alright. If you want to scan me, you'll have to show me a scanning warrant. Without one of those, junkers can't scan civilians. I know the law. It's true. Jetstreamer, welcome in. I get that all the time. How are you doing today? Hope you're having a good week. Suspect of what you ask? Of everything. This isn't enough to prove that our Freddy Nielsen is a snatcher. True. Without more evidence, we cannot get a scanning warrant. Now, uh, we'd like to take a look in your bathroom, if you don't mind. Oh, you need to use the bathroom? No, we'd like to investigate your bathroom. Really? Whatever. Please, go right ahead. Yeah, everything seems suspicious, but nothing points to Snatcher yet, so we can't really get that warrant. This is Freddy's bathroom. Go right ahead. Check anything you want. I'll be out here. A very attractive bathroom and sparkling clean. This bathtub just doesn't compare with that thing at Ivan's place. It's filled with water. Something funny about this bathtub. There must be some kind of bath crystals or soap in the water. It's an unusual color. No, no, there's... Uh, uh, this game is actually made by Konami and Hideo Kojima. So our robot sidekick in the game is named Metal Gear Mark II. And he actually is modeled after the Metal Gear uh, uh, robot from the original NES Metal Gear. Uh, Kojima, of course, loves putting little uh, jo in jokes in his games like that. Something funny about this bathtub. Look, you can see your reflection in the mirror. Jeez, I've always been such a handsome devil. There are a number of bottles on the shelf. As usual, homes with women living in them always have nice bathrooms. A very attractive system bath unit. Yeah, the outer heaven bar was full of little Konami jokes, I love that. I'd like to try taking a nice hot bath in a place like this. You're a robot, Metal Gear, don't do that. There is no faucet. This is an unusual bathtub. 
Yeah, yeah, no worries, no worries. It's, it's pretty wild, I love it. Rather odd for a system bathtub, isn't it? I can detect no residue on the surface of the tub. It has been cleaned very well. I wonder where the water is drained from. Got me. That's super weird. No drain or no faucet on the tub? What the heck? The mirror has electrical wires within it which heat up to prevent fogging. Oh, that's fancy. Gillian, a secret compartment on the back of the mirror. Doesn't exist. God damn it! There is no secret compartment on the mirror or in the cabinet. <laughs> Metal Gear! The shelf seems to be completely ordinary. Snacker! That's possible! Welcome in, Koma! How are you doing today? Does it have three seashells? If it does, we don't know what to do with them. <laughs> uh, let's see, is there anything else to look at in here? Wait a minute, haven't we seen that bottle someplace before? What's this? That's the same container as the one we found at John's. Uh-oh. All right, I will analyze the contents of the bottle. There's no mistake, this is sunscreen. Sunscreen in the middle of winter, eh? And it looks like it's been used recently, too. There's no mistake, Freddie Nielsen is a snatcher. Gillian, with this much evidence, there will be no difficulty getting a scanning warrant. We've got you now, Snatcher scum. So, you figured it out, huh? What? Who's that? Know oh. all about us, do you, Junker? <sighs> that... that wound. Jean did that to her. Junker! Oh shit! Oh jeez! Jeez, those things don't go down easy. So... This is a snatcher, huh? I certainly hope it's dead. Woo! Oh, jeez! <laughs> Why do snatchers need so much sunscreen? There's so they they're robots, so they have artificial skin. There's a flaw in their artificial skin uh, that causes them to basically get skin cancer if they are exposed to any ultraviolet sunlight. So they have to constantly be wearing sunscreen, high grade sunscreen. Yeah, there you go, there you go. Oh, jeez. Maybe she thought we weren't gonna find it. I mean, sunscreen by itself isn't super suspicious, but we knew what to look for. It appears to be dead. Damn, those things are tough as heck. All right. Its functions appear to have been completely terminated. No, Gillian's never seen a Snatcher before. This is literally the first day on the job. <laughs> this is literally his first day on the job. He's having a bad time of it, too. So that skin tissue we found under Gibson's nails came from this woman, huh? So it was Lisa and Freddy who killed John. Freddy, that's right. So where's he? We can contact the junk collection team later. Let's get out of this apartment for now.
We're outside now. What the? A light just came on. There's not supposed to be anybody in there. Perhaps Freddy has returned. There's only one entrance, and we're standing right next to it. How did he get in there? Shall we investigate? All right, time to save again. Especially since uh, Lisa absolutely could have killed us there. Not quite as bad as Leon Kennedy's first day, but we're sure getting there. Oh my god. Yeah, he had a bad time of it too. Woo! <laughs> a few shots from a standard handgun? I mean, that was like six headshots. Most people would go down pretty, uh, pretty hard after just one. Also, as we established at the beginning of the game, statures are basically only uh, killable by headshots. You can disable them with hits elsewhere, but you need to hit headshots if you're going to take them down. Yeah, close range too, holy crap. The door is locked. It's funny, I could have sworn it wasn't locked. This is a standard electronic lock. I can open this without too much difficulty. This appears to be the only way in or out of the apartment. Alright. It's an electronic lock. Someone must have activated it. was suspicious, it's true. Yeah, I know, this game is wild! I'm reading motion. Someone is in there. Metal, open it. Okay, now establishing Alpha 1 link. Link made. Executing search for lock code of apartment 202. Hurry it up! Just a bit longer. I'm in Alpha 1's maintenance records for the MR district. Lock code found. Now opening the door. Good work. We're in the living room. Alright, I'm gonna save again. Yes, there is a, a Chibi Snatcher game called SD Snatcher. I believe. I, I don't know too much about that, though. Met, welcome in. How are you doing today? Hope you're doing well. I don't see Freddy anywhere. There is no sign of anyone in this room. It's in the same condition it was a few minutes ago. It hasn't been touched. I don't hear anything besides us. Weird. He doesn't appear to be in this room. There's nothing on my infrared sensors either. Lisa's remains do not appear to have been touched. Motion! I read motion coming from the bathroom. Metal, you ready? Let's go! Okay. This is Freddy's bathroom. Huh? The bathtub is empty. That thing was filled with water just a few minutes ago. I read motion. This room! Damn! Where is he? Oh, jeez! Gillian, behind you! Oh god! Damn. 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 Oh god! What was I supposed to do there? He, uh, Metal Gear said something.
I've had it. Gillian? Whoa! That was close. You're lucky I was here to save your skin. Who are you? Me? Random Haji, Bounty hunter. Bounty hunter? Yes, Gillian, a bounty hunter. As the Junker profession is so dangerous, their numbers have fallen dramatically over the past few years. As a result, the government decided to put a price on Snatcher's heads in order to encourage private citizens to cooperate in the effort to track them down. Naturally, these bounty hunters must register with the authorities. You said your name's Random, right? Now, what did you do? Follow me here? Yeah, you got it. Investigations aren't my style. You track them down, I take them out. You have the legal obligation to state your bounty hunter registration number. Please do so now, immediately. <sighs> BH75001 Random Hajil. That's R A N D O M H A J I L E. BH75001 Random Hajil. That's confirmed. I officially recognize you as a legal bounty hunter. Wow. Gillian, records indicate that he has already disposed of three Snatchers just this month. Shit. Counting Freddy, that makes four. Four? I've been at this a lot longer than you have. Just relax, rookie. So, Junker Boy, let me give you a little tip. You might already know, but Snatchers' weak point is their artificial skin. If they sit out in the sun too long, they get cancer. That's why they set up a hospital to treat this little problem of theirs. You find it, you can take them out, roots and all. Where did you get all your information? Wait a sec, you stole it from Gibson, didn't you? That's not really important. But now that Gibson's out of the picture, I need you to get busy. I track them down and you junk them, is that the idea? Anyhow, it seems Gibson found that hospital. He must have left behind some information about it. What do you mean, seems? Don't you know anything about it? Hey, investigations are your job, right? <laughs> I owe you one, Random. Yeah, I'll get it out of you later. See ya, Junker Boy. A Snatcher-controlled hospital, eh? There's bound to be more than a few of them in there. That music's fantastic. Act one, end! Oh man, let me get caught up on chat here. Because Coach of Games required to have at least one guy with a try, goddamn, that is very much. Jet streamer, he reminds you of Sting from Dune. Considering how much Kojima borrows from pop culture, I wouldn't be surprised if he's actually modeled on uh, uh, Sting from Dune. When did the uh, when did that version of Dune come out? Because the original version of this game came out in '88, I believe. So I'm curious how it lines up there. Commander Keen, you're heading to bed. Thanks so much for stopping by and hanging out. I hope you have a good rest, and we will see you around. Seems like a nice division of labor. I do like that. How meaty is the cancer? We're not actually super sure. It's like, I mean, about as immediate as cancer gets, but I don't think like their skin would liquefy or anything if you pointed a UV lamp at them. Like it would be dangerous for them in the, the, short, the short to midterm, but like not immediate. Who throws the shoe? Oh, so uh, the original Dune is from uh, 84? All right, so yeah, the, the, it uh, lines up then. It's very possible that Random was uh, inspired by Sting there. That's pretty fantastic. All right, so let's go ahead and save here. Go ahead and head back to save file one. Act two. Sure. 
Okay, let's try to sort all this out. Metal Gear, would you mind helping out? Not at all. Now projecting recorded video images. Gibson calls in and you two immediately head for the abandoned factory in the M District. But when you arrived, Gibson had already been killed by someone or something at the factory. From hair and skin samples recovered from his body, you determined that the perpetrators were two snatchers, one male and one female. In addition, from a floppy disk containing notes from Gibson's investigation, you discovered that snatchers have a crucial defect. Gibson was apparently killed because he had learned about this weak point. And this weak point is a key difference between them and real humans. Their artificial skin cannot tolerate ultraviolet rays. Long-term exposure causes it to become cancerous, a form of melanoma. This severely limits the places and times that they can operate to midwinter, when daylight hours are their shortest, and of course at night. And it looks as if it will take at least six months for them to develop a new skin which overcomes this fault. So their biggest weak point was that they had to keep themselves protected from ultraviolet rays over the past six months. Hmm, Gibson really put his earlier training as a science cop to good use in figuring this one out. And that's why they use plenty of sunscreen, even in the middle of the winter. As a result of this, it becomes clear that there is one thing they must have to continue their survival. And that is medical facilities, where they can treat artificial skin which has become cancerous. And it appears that Gibson may have located a hospital used for this very purpose. In an effort to determine where Gibson had been investigating, you analyzed his stomach contents, found buffalo meat, and headed to the only place in the city that serves it, Outer Heaven. Isabella Velvet, a dancer at this place, gives you a description, which allows you to put together a montage of the man Gibson was trying to track down. You then ran this montage through the city's data bank using Jordan. And that gave you two suspects, Ivan Rodriguez and Freddie Nielsen. But from the condition of Ivan's skin, you determined that there was no possibility he could be a snatcher. There was no evidence at all of melanoma. But as he was in possession of Liquid Sky, you turned him over to narcotics. Following that, a search of Freddie Nielsen's home turned up large quantities of sunscreen. Nielsen's wife, Lisa Nielsen, turns out to be a snatcher, and you dispose of her. And you confirm that the skin cells found under Gibson's nails were from Lisa. Freddie Nielsen also turns out to be a snatcher, and you dispose of him as well. The hair sample that was found in Gibson's hand is confirmed as being from Freddie. So you are able to determine that these two snatchers, Freddie and Lisa, were the ones who killed Gibson. But then we have a problem. The bounty hunter who saved you, Seed, Random Hajil. An investigation uncovers that the information he provided when he filled out his bounty hunter registration was completely false. So who is this guy, friend or foe? What about the bank account he was having his bounty deposited into? It was a common account used for paying bounty, and the funds were retransferred from there. We couldn't learn anything from it. Thank you, Metal. And now for the real fun, the hospital that Gibson had tracked down. If we can hit that, we may be able to shut down this snatch operation of theirs. Or if we can find some kind of patient records there, we may be able to find them quite easily. So, Little John's memory might provide us with an important lead. That's right. If we're lucky, there may be something left that we can work with. Navigators record everything that Junkers do, just in case. Just in case, huh? Well, this looks like one of those cases. Harry should have recovered it by now. Go see how he's doing. Seed, I'm counting on you to find this hospital. Alright, that was a good uh, recap. 
deemed Karen this before they understood UV was still there in winter? I think they know, but they also mentioned that the Snatchers are mostly active at night. So, uh, during winter and night is a pretty good prediction, I'd say. And yeah, I appreciate games that have periodic summaries as well. That's really nice, and it really helps people that, you know, put down the game for a few days and then forget a few things. I think that's pretty nice. Oh god, I forgot about the sunscreen song. Holy shit, I haven't thought about that in a million years. Trinetta, welcome in. How are you doing today, Trinetta? How's your week going so far? He's a young Doc Brown. Marty, we have to get the Snatchers. <laughs> it's true, Malco. All right. He's definitely not a Neo Kobe citizen. He's probably some kind of drifter. A drifter? You know, an illegal immigrant. Shape up, Seed. Graduated from tech school yesterday. Had to give a speech because I got voted MVP. And I'm finally A-plus certified. Holy shit! Trinetta, congratulations! That is fantastic. And, uh, you are freaking set. You are freaking set for whatever comes next, and that's awesome. I know you must have worked hard to get there, too, so congratulations, seriously. Also, if anybody in here is not following Trinidad, jump on that. If you like playthroughs of our uh, JRPGs, especially 100% playthroughs, you're going to want to head over there. If you like baking, you're going to want to head over there too. And if you just like hanging out with cool people, another good reason to click that link. Give her a follow, check her out next time she's live. You're going to have a great time over there. And Ampra, thank you so much for the gift sub to Trinetta right there. Gift sub number 1000. 404 in the channel. Much appreciated. <laughs> Thank you, Oprah. Excuse me. Exactly, 4M. Sometimes just, uh, especially with a mystery game, it's nice to be able to step back, get a good high-level summary of everything. All right. So let's head to the engineering room and talk to Harry. We gave Harry Little John's memory a while ago, but he was drunk as a skunk at the time, so he wasn't able to work on it. Let's see what we got now. About time you got here, Gillian. I've got Little John's memory all ready for you. Were we able to get anything from it? Just relax. I'll put it on the monitor for you now. I'm afraid it was almost completely destroyed beyond recovery. Those snatchers, they sure do a thorough job. What do you mean? Wasn't there anything left? Like I said, just relax. I was able to get one video image out of it. I don't have the slightest what this is, but it's definitely got something to do with Jean's investigation. This is it. So, Gillian, do you uh, have any idea what this is? Hospital Olean? This is almost certainly the Snatcher-controlled hospital that Gibson was looking for. You ought to run the name through Jordan, but uh, if that hospital is not legit, the data won't mean anything. This city is packed with unregistered hospitals. The sign in this picture looks curved. This word Olean might continue past the edge of the image. I've stored this image. You can view it at any time. Just use the graphic memory command on the possessions menu. Thank you. All right. Harry, do you think I can really make it as a junker? Uh, Chief and I know a good kid when we see one. You'll do just fine. Harry, I'm afraid I just can't fill Gibson's shoes. I don't talk to guys who say whippy things like that. I never trust those bounty hunters. This isn't the kind of job you do for profit. But I thought that those blasters were the only things that could take out a Snatcher. In theory, that's right. Standard ray gun just isn't strong enough. Still, if you modify a standard ray gun to focus its energy much better than usual, you never know. But that would make it much harder to hit your targets, right? That's right. In other words, this random is one heck of a shot. Normally, that just doesn't work. Alright. It's definitely no mistake about Little John's memory. This hospital exists. You can bet your life on that. Alright, well, let's head down to Jordan, then.
Gillian? What? Harry suggested that we check the hospital using the Jordan system, but... The Jordan system doesn't offer a hospital search function. Really? Why don't we ask Napoleon? That's not a terrible idea. Alright, so... <laughs> Let's see, so what was the number for Napoleon? 395644. Three nine five six four four. What you again? What do you want? More information? That's right. I need your help. Oh, the password. All right, this one I remember at least. The revolution is ended. Thank goodness. Alright, you pass, but we can't talk on the video phone. I'll meet you in the usual place. He hung up. What are you going to do? Alright, well we know he doesn't uh he doesn't stick around for long, so we better head over there. Straight away. Head to the front. And then we'll head to the turbo cycle. What? Yeah, you! <laughs> okay! <laughs> Alright. Oh hey, there's something different here. I'm definitely noticed something here that wasn't here before. Could be a snatcher among the people here, you know. That's true, but it is too frightening to think about. Christmas trees are set up here and there. Yeah, Christmas is just around the corner. What are your plans for Christmas, Gillian? Me? Maybe some time with Jamie? Nah, I don't really know. You don't have any firm plans yet, do you? Afraid not. Don't worry, I won't let you spend Christmas alone. Gillian, if no one else is available, let's spend Christmas together. Christmas with you? It will be my first Christmas. Only in a worst case scenario, you know. Christmas with you is the worst case scenario. <laughs> yeah, we haven't found Nakatomi Tower yet. Hey, Thazon, welcome in. How are you doing today? There really are a lot of attractive neon signs in the area. There are all kinds of advertisements for holiday products and television programs. <laughs> Seriously, Gillian. Beggars can't be choosers. It's Christmas everywhere you look. Even Santa Claus is here. A man dressed as Santa Claus is handing out tissues as an advertisement. He definitely wasn't here before. Huh? That's Santa Claus. What's wrong? Nothing. Probably just my imagination. I'm doing good, Thazon. Thanks for asking. And yeah, they actually pointed that out before. That's very much intentional. Shall we check him out? Investigate Santa Claus. Let's check out this Santa. Let's go. Wait a minute, you're no Santa. Uh, how'd you guess? What are you doing in that outfit? 
What are you talking about? That's it! Ugh. I'm quitting this job. It's too dangerous. Somebody's after me. I'm gonna end up dead, just like, like Gibson. Oh, hey, Napoleon. <laughs> That's no Santa, it's Satan! A shining Santa, eh? Somehow you just don't fit the frame. Or the image. Oh, I'm so sorry to disappoint you. It's a traditional Santa Claus costume. Snatchers, that's who I'll kill. Snatchers. Hey, don't be touching me! There's a tag on the suit which says Rick Bakery Productions. It's the same place which makes those Outer Heaven masks. Why don't you just go ahead and tell us who you really are, Napoleon? Ah, us informers are easier to get along with if you don't know who we really are. I need some information about underground hospitals. Besides all the legit hospitals, there are scores of those underground places all over the city. You'll never be able to find them all. Wait a second. You might be able to learn something about those illicit operations by checking up on pharmaceutical orders. After all, almost all the drugs used on the island are manufactured here as well. That's right. All of the pharmaceuticals on the island are distributed or manufactured by Kobe Pharmaceuticals. Kobe Pharmaceuticals, eh? That's where Jamie works. Jamie keeps track of records of shipments of pharmaceuticals throughout the island. She might be able to find something out. That's right. Let's call her and ask later on. <laughs> Got a cold there, Napoleon? I've got an allergy, I guess. I always get this way in the winter. Allergen that almost always that only operates in winter. That could be Snow Nine, you know. One can always pick up traces of Snow Nine wherever Snatchers go. The sneezing just goes on and on. They probably didn't get permission from Rick Baker, but that's definitely what the reference is there. <laughs> oh god, Home Alone was a million years ago, wasn't it? Yeah, basically, the Snow Nine appears to be a reference to Ice Nine. Lots of references. It's a man-made strain that was developed by the military years ago as an offensive weapon to help protect bases and the like. Wasn't all of it disposed of long ago? Yes, but I hear talk that somebody started cultivating it again about 30 years ago. Three years? That's about the same time the Snatchers first appeared. Apparently that stuff grows back quickly even after it's cleaned out. The area grows in or off limits, but the wind brings it right into the city. Alright, that's all he's got to say there. I'm sure a specialist like that will have more to offer you than somebody like me will. Uh, I'm gonna try showing him the picture from the hospital. Old Ian Hospital? Before that, why don't we take care of business? Oh god, alright. Damn, take it. <laughs> Thanks, a bundle. That's pretty bad. one you're looking for, but I know an old Ian Hospital. Hey, I'm not doing this for fun, you know. You have to do a little better than that. Uh, fine. Just as greedy as ever, eh? Here, take it. Thank you very much. I don't know too much about it, but it's over in the RF district. Why don't you go check it out? Wait a minute, Napoleon. I'll keep any snatchers off your back. They're 
after both of us. You better worry about watching your own back. Oh, by the way, here, a little Christmas present for you. What? Tissues? See ya. Merry Christmas. Well, now he's gone. No surprise there. He's got plenty of reason to be scared. Besides, I got the information I needed. There's an advertisement on the back of that pack of tissues. This is an ad for Outer Heaven. Just how many different jobs does that guy have? Hmm, interesting. I've seen that one, LTG! Yeah, I, I remember seeing that a long time ago. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. Rin, it looks like Larian's forums are down because of patch note readers. How huge does the game have to be that uh, threads about patch notes are enough to uh, DOS a forum? That's insane. Look. Alright, we can't actually look at that there. That's weird. Alright. Uh, let's see. Patch notes are bigger than Steam's text limit, apparently. Holy shit! I've seen some really long posts on uh, Steam about patch notes. That's kind of wild. Alright, let's use the video phone and let's call Jamie. See what information we can get about her. About, uh... Uh, pharmaceuticals for her. Her number is 393444. Four, four. 22,000 years! Holy shit! Whoa! Oh god! Oh god! My god, a snatcher! Bet I surprised you, huh? Don't worry, this is just a tape. I'm at work right now. If you need to reach me, please call Neo Kobe Pharmaceutical Labs at 391009. Sorry to scare you. Bye! She really had me for a moment there. Since when did she start pulling practical jokes like this? No doubt, this message is a strategy of hers to deal with your troublesome calling. <laughs> Just what does that mean? There's no need to be embarrassed, Killian. I'm fully aware that Jamie has snatched your heart. What was it 393109, I think she said? I was kind of too busy being extremely mad. <laughs> what the hell, Jamie? Jesus Christ. Let's see, the blue stripes on the cover are different from all other Sega CD games. The reason? A mix-up with the art files. That's hilarious. <laughs> During the PC version's development, Kojima wanted the floppy disk to be coated with a chemical that would give off the scent of blood when heated in the computer. <laughs> That's Kojima for you. What a weirdo. Oh my god, Jamie! Oh, that is the worst voicemail I have ever seen. God damn. All right, let's try this. Three, nine, three, one, zero, nine. Ah, oh, wrong number. Damn it! Alright, what was the number? Reach is not in service at this time. Please check the number and dial again. This is a recording. JTNT Neo Kobe. I must have got the wrong no, number wrong. Damn it. Alright, we gotta call Jamie again then. That's three nine three four four four. Divinity full playthrough when? Jeez, that is a big ask. Bet I surprised you, huh? Don't worry, this is just a tape. I'm at work right now. If you need to reach me, please call Neo Kobe Pharmaceutical Labs at three nine one zero zero nine. Sorry to scare you. Bye. Yeah, I had it completely wrong. All right. Let's give her a call at the lab then. So, 
three, nine, one, zero, zero, nine. It's huge, LTG. Neo Kobe Pharmaceutical Labs, can I help you? Huh? Oh, it's you, Gillian. What's going on? All right. Jamie, that message on your answering machine, wasn't that going a bit too far? Did I scare you? You bet you did! Were you worried? Yes, I was worried. How worried? How worried? I'm really worried, you know? Good. Would you cut the jokes like that? If the Snatchers ever actually got their hands on you, I'd... I don't even want to think about it as a joke. Okay, Gillian. Uh, let's see. Hey, guy from Red Bank, welcome in. How are you doing today? Snatchers require a hospital which has facilities to treat ultraviolet ray exposure. Do you have any idea about that? Well, having facilities to treat ultraviolet ray exposure is nothing rare, but we keep rep records here on the hospitals on the island. I'll take a look at those. Don't get your hopes up. If it's a black marketplace running on its own, we probably won't have anything on it at all. Uh, let's see, show possessions, video memory, little... Oh, lean. Hmm. I think I've heard of that. I think it might be a hospital on the island. Almost all the development and administration of pharmaceuticals on the island takes place here. Don't worry, if I figure anything out, I'll give you a call. Now I've got a reason to talk to you again sometime. You silly, you don't need to have a reason to talk to me. You know, I... No, I'm sorry. All right. Jamie, I've learned that the Snatchers have taken over a hospital somewhere on the island. I need your help in investigating this. All you have to do is ask, Gillian. I'll do anything to help out. How's your memory doing? Any sign it might be coming back? Somehow, I feel like maybe I've always been doing this job. I seem to remember wearing white. Can't you recall anything, Gillian? Jamie in white. Hmm. I'm afraid not. Nothing. Twenty-three years ago! I love that game. It's such a good game. Jamie, there's something I've learned since we split up. Although my memories of our time together aren't coming back, my feelings of our time together never left. Gillian... My feelings for you are still strong. Actually, I think I'm beginning to fall in love with you all over again. And in a way that has nothing to do with our lost past. Thanks, Gillian. You're probably right. We can't keep looking over our shoulders forever. Alright. Well, it sounds like that's about all we can do here. It was nice talking to you, Jamie. Bye for now. If I find anything out about the hospital, I'll give you a call. Thanks. I really need your help on this one. Talk to you later, Gillian. Bye. All right. Well, all right. Let's get back in the turbo cycle then. Can't you respond with thanks? Not a great sign there. Um. All right, let's head to that location we got from uh, Napoleon there. All right, now heading for Hospital Olin. Thanks, Zone. Now you'll excuse me while I chase literally every skirt in Japan. Very much Gillian's M.O. Yeah. 
this is the Olean Hospital that Napoleon told us about. Hmm, I don't think it's the right one. Yeah, it's definitely not the right one. The sign in Little John's memory is written in a totally different style. It's not a good, uh, not a good sign. <laughs> there is a neon sign on the roof of the building. The entrance appears to be in the front. It really has the atmosphere of an illicit hospital. <laughs> it's true, perchance the stream, welcome in. How are you doing today? He'd hit on a table if it had a skirt, he would. He would. I wonder what they specialize in. There are no signs or anything. It's because it's one of the illicit places. There are no notices or anything. It can't be a legitimate operation. The lights are on, and there are signs of people inside. It looks like they are open. Could this be the Snatcher Maintenance Facility that Gibson described? Probably not. Illegally parked cars are near nearly blocking the streets. Cars don't appear to be abandoned. They're not scrap, then what? The patient's cars? There's some nice luxury cars in the bunch. Must be the patient's vehicles. It says Hospital Olean. Is this really the place we're looking for? No, I don't think so. It's an automatically opening double door. All the windows and other openings have heavy metal screens covering them. Strange cries can be heard coming from the building. It is covered with heavy metal screening. We should be able to learn much more from the inside. Animal droppings can be seen in several places on the road and sidewalks. There is no one in the area. The hospital is in quite a lonely neighborhood. The neon sign appears different from the one in Little John's memory. Is this really the hospital that we saw in Little John's memory? I don't think so. This is odd. They seem to be using pressure plate sensors rather than more modern infrared. In other words, things haven't changed much since they opened. Must have been there a while. It's not locked. If we approach it, it will open. It doesn't smell like a hospital usually does. I like the smell of filth. We can't know unless we go in. Gillian, be very careful. Alright, let's save before we head in. Could be a dangerous place even if there aren't snatchers in there. You know, just like that surfer dude tried to pull a gun on us. Alright. I'll open the door. Are you ready? Yeah, go ahead. Um. <laughs> uh. We're in the hospital. This would appear to be the reception area. This room seems to be the waiting area. It appears to be a smaller establishment than I thought. Hmm? Everybody is holding an animal of some sort. They must be very rich individuals. That appears to be one of those super memory parrots. People use these birds frequently now when they study foreign languages or have other sounds they want to record. It keeps saying the same thing. Maybe its memory chip is damaged.
It's a Magellanic Kobe penguin. They were developed in 33 as a breed which should thrive in tropical and temperate climates. Pet penguin. Look, even in temperatures like this, it is full of energy and jumping around. Wow, yeah, he has full of energy. Holy shit. <laughs> That's one of those humming dogs. You know, the ones that have had their larynxes modified to help eliminate sound pollution. That is a penguin! As you can see, it is a very quiet animal. Ah yes, that's one of those pocket pets, popular among women as a combination pet and handbag. They were created by slicing marsupial genes into common household animals. What the fuck? <laughs> Hang on, no! I need to linger here for a moment as you take in the horror that is this statement. What the shit? That's both weird and gross. <laughs> this one would appear to be one of the cat models. What the fuck? Ooh, pocket pet. <laughs> God damn it. it seems to have a wound in its pouch. That happens frequently with these, I'm afraid. Women's sharp cosmetic cases end up hurting the inside of the animal's pouches. Poor animals. Women just won't let anything stand between them and their pursuit of beauty. And you wonder why you have trouble getting along with women. Thank you, Metal Gear! Calling him out on his misogyny so I don't have to. You got your pet in my handbag! You got your handbag in my pet! Now see, if it's a stuffed animal, that's fine, LTG, but that is an actual living animal! And that's fucking weird. The reception area is just inside the entrance on the front side of the building. Everyone is carrying an ID. It would appear that they are all law-abiding Neo Kobe citizens. There are no suspicious looking types here. The sign says dangerous or hard to control animals must be on a leash or in a cage. I really don't care for animals. Good morning, good morning, good morning! I really wish he would shut up. I really wish he would shut up! I really wish he would shut up! I really wish he would shut up! Oh, spare me! <laughs> I do like the outfit of the person with the cat looks cozy. That does look like, what is that? It's like a, like a Snuggie. They came here in a Snuggie, it would appear. Please, Gillian, I have real trouble with animals. Uh, let's check out the dog. I really don't care for animals. I'm really sorry, but I just can't deal with animals at all. Have you heard any rumors about snatchers in this area? I'm not worried. We keep a dog in our house. So, does this hospital? So does this hospital. Snatchers hate dogs, right? There is no solid proof, but animals with good sense of smell are said to be able to pick them out. That's right. That's why it's so. That's why so many people are starting to keep pets these days. Hmm, keep that in mind. Dogs may be able to smell snatchers, possibly. <laughs> uh, let's see. What kind of a hospital is this? What? Didn't you know before you came? This is an animal hospital. Sorry, but I don't think they can help your little robot friend. Hey, I'm not sick. I'm functioning properly. Wow, what a smell! That's the odor given off by these animals and their byproducts. So that's it. I thought somebody was ripe. It's a form of pollution. Oh, 
We'll be okay, won't we? They stay away from animals, right? The doctor here has a really good reputation. It's so hard to find a good vet these days. It appears that the treatment area is behind here. Yeah, I'm not thinking this is our place. Their animals all have collars and ID tags. They appear to be pets. There are numerous posters about pet insurance and vaccinations. Oh jeez, yeah, I'm not thinking this is our place. I think we've seen just about everything here. What about the doctor here? Is he any good? He's a fully licensed doctor with his genetic manipulation permit. This is about the only place in town that'll see you without an appointment. Fully licensed, eh? He really loves animals, you know? And he's a great surgeon! Alright, yeah, I'm getting it. I think we've seen about everything. Anything we missed? I don't think so. Uh, what happens if we exit? Nope, we have to keep investigating somehow. Um... Hey, Grunt! Welcome in! How are you doing today, Grunt? How's your week going? Alright, nothing there. Well, they don't do direct genetic manipulation, but their treatments are really good. They service manufactured pets here, too. And they're approved by the Life Manipulators Oversight Committee. Alright, that's all they got there. Penguins as genetically manipulated penguins as pets, too. Happy the weekend? Me too. Me too, definitely. It's been super hot around here. Alright, so there's apparently still something we're supposed to see here, so... It appears they take insurance here, then it cannot be an illicit hospital. No, it's, it's not even an illicit hospital, jeez. The receptionist appears to be doing paperwork related to treatment. Alright. I gotta exhaust everything to make sure we've hit every flag here. But it really looks like we hit everything. As you can see, it's a very quiet animal. Why did it bark? That's probably why it's at the hospital. Yeah, that makes sense. Alright. I saw that. And else there. He's not going to investigate the animals any further, it looks like. Oops. Um. And all that. Ew, it really smells in here. Storing cosmetics in the cat. Yes, the cat is genetically manipulated to have a marsupial pouch and is bo being used as a handbag, which is fucking horrifying. I'll show the image from Little John's memory, I guess. All right, sure, we can do that. Show video memory, Little John. I'm looking for a hospital with this sign. Well, it's not the one for this place. It's kind of similar, though. Snatchers cannot tolerate dogs. It is improbable, but this is their skin cancer treatment center.
Looks like we barked up the wrong tree here. So, uh, now we're back to square one, huh? Don't become too discouraged. We still have many leads. Let's head back to the turbo cycle. Hmm. Olean Hospital. Unfortunately, this wasn't the place. You're right, Metal. Okay, let's go. Oh, here we go. Gillian, it's the emergency line from HQ. I'll connect you. Gillian, I'm glad I got you. I got a call from Katrina. She said she has something she needs to give you. Something to give me? What in the world? She seemed really scared. Kept saying that Alice was barking. When did she call? About 30 minutes or so ago. Jesus. Damn. Gillian, we should hurry. Yeah, Katrina's in trouble. Yeah, we gotta get right the hell over there. Oh wait, Gibson's house, sorry. This is Gibson's house now, Metal. Set the automatic traffic control system to give us absolute priority. 10-4. God, I hope she's safe. So the murder victim from the first act, uh, Jean-Jacques Gibson, who is another one of the Junkers, uh, his daughter, that's Katrina. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're a little worried. Yeah, how did it take her 30 minutes to call? What the hell? Days on, welcome back. What'd you get to eat? Step on it, metal! We've arrived at John Jock Gibson's house. What would you like to do? Alright, we're gonna save first. Because if she's in danger, we're going to be in danger now, too. Rice, veggies, some chicken, blueberries, and a banana. No, 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 no. Excellent. Hope it's delicious. Katrina, are you here? There is no answer. We can't just go inside. It seems like someone is home, but something is odd. The lights are on. Perhaps Katrina is home. Everything appears to be in order, but still. One can see that the lights are on from out here. Something is odd here. Please use caution, Gillian. It appears normal. There is no sign it was damaged. A very quiet, upper-class neighborhood. There is nobody in the area. Huh? It's not locked. The hell? Let's get inside, then. Alright, I'll open the door. Are you ready? Yeah, open it. We've entered Gibson's living room. What about Katrina? Where is she? I don't see her. This is rather troubling. <laughs> the light inside is out, but I still work. Like, yeah, save your buddy. <laughs> I get that. There is no one here. Perhaps she's been hidden or captured. The television and data terminals are still on. The lights have been left on. What could have happened to Katrina? The monitors are all still hot. They must have been left on. What's this? I thought this was a window, but there is another shelf here. Why didn't I notice this sooner? A model of a house is on the shelf. We saw that before. It's a perfect miniature of Gibson's house. 
It's made from a cast, but the detail is excellent. Interesting. It's a music box, but there is nothing inside it. I didn't know Gibson had made a model of his house. It appears that something was kept inside it. This model may have some connection with our investigation. True. After all, Jean left that search the house memo. This may be what he was referring to. Still, we have to find Katrina. I'm worried about Katrina. Let's see if she's in here. Good idea. Katrina! Katrina! Answer if you can! Uh, answer if you can hear me! There is no answer. Something must have happened. Let's check out the study. Yeah, a little misspelling there. Oh, shit! Huh? What the? My goodness, what a shambles. Somebody has turned the place upside down. Snatchers! They must have been looking for something. The room is a shambles. Things are scattered everywhere. The monitor is broken. The hard leather has been torn to shreds. Yeah, the music in this game is so good, Grunt! Everything appears to have been smashed and broken. Based on the condition of this room, it looks like they were looking for something. I wonder what. I don't know, but it could have been the same thing we're looking for. The machine is a total loss. It's a good thing we already had read the file on the disk. Maybe they were trying to destroy some kind of data on themselves. We can't read it off the disk anymore, but I have it stored in my memory. Don't worry. It appears to have been torn by a claw-like instrument of some kind. They are worried about the location of the hospital getting out. Katrina must have discovered something related to that. I bet you're right. Katrina! Are you in here? It's me, Gillian! There is no answer. Apparently, she cannot hear you. Let's check out the garden. Take a look at the garden. Alice should be out there. What is that? Huh? Where's Alice? So Alice is missing too. There is nobody in the area. There is nothing unusual. There is nobody around. Look, there's a collar on the ground. It's Alice's magnetic collar. Special devices around their yard prevent the dog from going beyond their property if it is wearing this collar. There is nothing unusual. It seems almost too quiet out here. This garden doesn't lead anywhere. It was Alice's own private space. There is no way that Alice could have gotten out without going through the study. There is nobody else here. I feel like somebody else is out here. Maybe it's just my imagination. Now what happened to Alice? This is freaky. It appears to have been torn apart. Alice is a Doberman. That's not exactly the kind of dog that goes down easy. That's true, if she were facing a human. Katrina, are you in here? It's me, Gillian. There is no answer. Something must have happened. Alice may be in your shot. Why don't you call her? Come on, Alice! Come here, girl! There is no sign of her. She rather likes people, so she would no, uh, no doubt come out if she was here. Shoot! Hey, Drev! Welcome in! How are you doing today? There is a registration number printed on the side. It is definitely the one Alice was wearing. This tear is unusual. There is no way Alice would have had enough strength to do this. 
Oh, that's not good. I'm not picking up anything on infrared or on my motion detectors. Oh, that's weird. That's weird. All right, take one more look around here. Make sure there's nothing to see out here. It appears that something was dragged on the ground here. Oh, jeez. Go back to the study. Alright. Head back to the living room. Satellite receiver and various information channels have all been left on. Motion detectors or face huggers gonna be a thing? Well, we did, did have some uh, killer robot bugs earlier. So, Drev, the little girl from Act 1, Katrina, uh, said she was worried that she may be in danger, so he went back to her house and there's nobody there and the place has been trashed. So, we're trying to figure out what the heck has happened and hopefully make sure everybody's safe, but both her and the dog are missing. It's as if the only things missing from the house are the people. The service charge meter for the information channels shows a very high figure. It's more of a glass block shelf set in the wall than a window. Trees in the garden are visible. <laughs> the house model is the only thing on the shelf. Its size fits the shelf perfectly. Alright. Katrina! Answer if you can hear me! Nothing. Well, we can try calling Alice from in here, too. Nope, nothing there. Oh, let's head to the study and see if we can call Alice from in here. Nope, nothing there either. Shoot. <laughs> Relentlessly, that is a valid question. <laughs> it really is. Oh, what are we missing here? It must have shorted out. There are traces of burns on the case. The down feathers are leaking out. Achoo! Gillian, let's sneeze! Maybe Snow Nine? Wait a moment, let me analyze the air in the room. Analysis complete. It's a very slight amount, but there are definitely traces of Snow Nine here. It would appear that Snatchers have definitely been here. What about communications? Can you transmit? Yes, the Snow Nine isn't dense enough to block communications. That's good, that's good. Uh, let's go ahead and save again. Screw the girl, where's the damn dog? The dog better be safe. Oh God. Oh Lee, that is really, uh, that's really unpleasant, I'm sorry. Several cuts run perfectly parallel to each other, suggesting something like an animal's claws. It was not a knife or any other cutting tool. Interesting. It was the last working PC-68 in the world. It was a very rare item. Everything appears to have been smashed and broken. seeing anything else here. Shit. Gillian, I read motion. 
Use extreme caution. The signal is coming from outside the window. What the fuck? It's Alice. The dog is dead. Body temperature suggests it was killed about 10 minutes ago. No doubt the work of snatchers. Scum. No reason to kill the poor animal. Katrina. Where's Katrina? We can leave the cleanup here to the junk crews. We should look for Katrina. Judging from the mess they made here, it looks like they were looking for something. We're quite upset that they couldn't find it. Perhaps that means that Katrina is still safe. That's true. If they had her, there'd be no need to turn the place upside down like this. Perhaps Katrina took whatever they were looking for and fled. I bet you're right, Metal. We've got to find her before they do. Let's get back to the turbo cycle. <laughs> We've gone full of Rocky here. Oh, God. All right. <laughs> Dog, what the fuck? That was horrifying. Oh, jeez. Um, let's head back to Gillian's apartment. Oh no, we got to go back to HQ first, don't we? See if we can figure out where she might have gone from there. There's someone in your stand, and let's go. Is Metal Gear Mark II my stand? <laughs> Coach Ma! Let's see, have you been able to contract Kat Katrina yet? Judging from the condition of the apartment, I'd say they were looking for something. Gillian, please, you've got to help Katrina. Bounty Hunter, eh? Can you trust people like that? He sounds really fake, like something out of a novel, you know? I did notice, yes. <laughs> I suppose as long as they seem like they know what they're doing, Lee. Nirvana, I like it! Oh, Lean, huh? I've never heard of any hospital like that. I wonder where she is. She doesn't have any friends, you know. There's been no word from her since earlier today. Oh, jeez. She's really mature for her age. If something happened, I'm sure she'd call. Did you give her any numbers besides the one for headquarters? She shouldn't know any of the numbers of anyone in the agency. What about yours? Gillian, didn't you give her your address? That's right! I gave her mine! Well, it might be worth heading over to the apartment, then. Oh, I guess that wasn't enough of a compelling case. Yeah, the guy's name is Random Hajil. Alice was killed and Katrina's missing. Mika, what should I do? Katrina's safe somewhere, right? Gillian, isn't she? I hope so. Alright. There aren't many places that she's likely to go. Gillian, please, you've got to help Katrina. Alright. Well, let's keep asking around in here, then. Uh, see if the chief has anything to say. Oh, that was an MGS-5? Oh, that's wild. Katrina probably has some clue to the hospital that Gibson found. We've got to find Katrina. Check places she's likely to visit. If she calls, we'll put her through to you right away. She may not be able to contact anyone right now. 
All we can do is pray that she is still safe. Alright. Uh, while I'm here, I'm gonna ask him about Olene. Do you have any ideas about this Olene? Could be somebody's name. True. Uh, actually, real quick, just out of curiosity, let's head to the computer room. If Olene is a name, it might come up. If Katrina said she was interested in computers, she might be in here. Well, I really doubt it, but let's take a look anyway. Look for Katrina! Katrina, can you hear me? Yes? Hey, you run! That's not funny! Katrina is not here. Let's look somewhere else. Let's see, what happens if we go into Jordan? And go to ID file. And type in O L E E N. I don't know if the computer can do partials. We'll see. Nope, nothing. All right, it was worth a shot. Uh, let's check in the fact file. They've mentioned a couple things we might want to search in there. Uh, let's see. There's so much in here, though. Like, there's, there's a lot of stuff. Like, Alpha 1. The mother computer system which unifies and oversees administration of Neo Kobe. Developed via sophisticated networking of hundreds of separate systems of the city. A high-speed neurocomputer capable of mimicking human thought and reasoning patterns. Maintains extensive files on all individuals, corporations, and groups within the city. Also manages the day-to-day -day operation of the city's financial, distribution, and transport systems. <laughs> you know, Alpha One program maintenance is coordinated by Konami Softwares. Project Development Division Subgroup Number 48. Video phone number 30-1234. I think we've seen that already. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we already did that one. Let's see. Uh, Snow 9. A crystalline form of pollen created using genetic manipulation techniques. Developed for military use, it disrupts nearly all radio transmissions. It is poisonous to humans. In large quantities, it can cause symptoms similar to respiratory arrest, while even small quantities cause allergy-like symptoms such as sneezing and runny noses. Larger than ordinary pollen, the crystals are visible to the naked eye and appear similar to snow, hence the name. The pollen creates environmental problems as well, and vegetation producing it was destroyed in large quantities after the war to avoid them. Nevertheless, it is re-emerging in tropical regions as well as those subtropical regions where water supplies are plentiful, such as near rivers. At present, the only known area affected in Neokobai is the vicinity of the Ina River. As the pollen appeared in Neokobai only after the first presence of snatchers was confirmed, the relationship between the two is under careful investigation. Snow problem! Alright, some interesting stuff in there. Alright, uh, let's get out of here. We gotta keep finding Katrina. That is priority one. Uh, I guess we'll check out uh, engineering. So, how about Katrina? Hey, I may be old, but I'm in good shape. I don't know too much about hospitals. Never heard of this one either. Katrina will be all right. She may look a little fragile, but remember, she's Jean's daughter. She's quite tough. I know you'll find Katrina. I'm sure of it. Not like some other Harry I know. Gillian, you gotta find Katrina. Katrina isn't here, is she? 
Don't be stupid. If she was here, we all wouldn't be so worried now, would she? Katrina knows the emergency number of the agency. If something happens, you can bet she'll call. Katrina doesn't get out too often. She probably doesn't have too many friends. Alright, nothing here then. I guess we should check the shooting range. You should practice frequently to avoid any more game overs. Keep your voice down, will ya? Well, I don't have any problem with insectors, but... Snatchers are a completely different story than insectors. It's true. Katrina, answer me if you can hear my voice. Yes. Hey, you run? That's not funny. God damn it. All right, we, we didn't technically use the search for Katrina in the chief's office, so we should probably do that here, if that's an option. Is Katrina here? Come on, see, get serious. Of course she's not here. All right, so that's we've searched this whole place then. Oh, we haven't searched the detective's room. This was Gibson's. This was Gibson's room. Maybe Katrina's here. Why don't we take a look around? Katrina. Katrina is not here. Let's look somewhere else. All right. Katrina's down in the locker. Uh, under near desk. He says she's not in the area, but I'm gonna look anyway. Investigate under mat. She's not an insect, you know. There's no way she could be hiding around here. Yeah, it looks like it. All right. All right, that's everywhere in here then. Let's see, can we head to uh, Gillian's apartment now? Nope. Uh, can we head to Alton Plaza? Yeah, we can head to Alton Plaza, apparently. Hmm. I don't know why she'd be at Alton Plaza, but we can look around. We would have a hard time finding Katrina here, even if she was around. There's a lot of clothes here that I, there's a lot of clothes here that I bet Katrina would love. Katrina isn't here, is she? Numerous couples and families are milling about enjoying the holiday mood. Alright, let's try that area next. Nope, I don't see her anywhere. She does not seem to be in the area. No, it doesn't seem like she's here either. Katrina, answer if you can hear me! Gillian, she'd never be able to hear you in this crowd. Alright, let's try the nightlife, di nightlife district. Metal, we gotta find her! Don't worry, Gillian, she won't get past my sensors. Ah, it's no good, I don't see her anywhere. She does not appear to be here. Alright. No good. Why don't we stop by my apartment? Good idea. It might be worthwhile to search the neighborhood. <laughs> I mean, he seemed like he was genuinely concerned. That's a good thing, at least. All right. Well, like we said, Katrina does know Gillian's address, so it's possible he'd go there. 
as you know, the only other person she knows that A hunts snatchers and B is armed. This is your apartment building. Wait a sec. My lights are on. That's weird. I know I shut them off before I left. Be careful. A snatcher may be in your apartment. Searching the place, maybe? I don't have any evidence up there. She is 14, it's true. Hey, Plushy, welcome in. How are you doing today? Alright, let's make another save. I mean, if they tossed the... Uh... Gibson's apartment, it's possible they're uh, going after Gillian's as well. We gotta be cautious. Let's see what else we got here. It's hard to tell from here, but the lights are definitely on. I can't limit the movement sensor just to your apartment. What about your infrared sensor? I don't read anything. Apparently nobody is near the window. Alright. Alright, we gotta head in. Or not. Um... Welcome in, Alex. Welcome in, Alex Raiders. For anybody that doesn't know me, my name is Shane. That's Shane is Games. I play the obscure, the unusual, and the nostalgic. And today we are playing Snatcher for the Sega CD by Hideo Kojima of Metal Gear Solid fame. And Zen but Sleepier, welcome in as well. If anybody here isn't following Alex, you definitely got to. He is a fantastic streamer, plays a lot of multiplayer games, a lot of interesting stuff all the time. And he's playing very often and just a great person to hang out with. You need somebody to hang out with, he's uh, probably going to be around. Make sure to click that link, give him a follow, check out next time he's live. What are you playing today, Alex? Tell me everything. I'd love to hear. All right. Um. Let's see. Beast of Maravilla Island. I've never heard of that one. How was it? Hope it was interesting. Metal, check the status of the door of my apartment from here. Alright, now accessing the building's security system. Gillian, it's open. What? I know I locked that before I left. It does not appear to have been forced. Sort of a Pokemon Snap style game. Oh, that's really cool! Hey, Keyboard Turner Overdrive! I played it like in college? But it's been so long I've forgotten a lot of it, so I'm excited to be playing it again. Most importantly, I'm excited to be showing it off to people, because this is so hard to get a hold of. Incredibly short, Alex? I mean, as long as it's a good experience, that can still be a good thing. Sometimes I think it is nice when a game says what it has to say and then gets out of the way. Also, we just dropped some frames there, I apologize. Oh, let's see. Alright, we can head inside now. I'll open the door. Are you ready? Yeah, open it. This time, I can hear it too. I read motion. Something is in there. All right, Metal. Lock the front door. We're not letting anything out of here. The sound seems to be coming from the bathroom. Still, it did all that it needed to do? That's good. That's good. Hmm? What's that smell? A snatcher? I'm not sure, but I've smelled that before somewhere. Oh, what is that smell? Something's in there. Hmm. 
Nothing seems to have been stolen. At least it appears that I haven't been robbed. Nobody appears to be in this room. That's odd. The position of the chair and some of my stuff is different. Looks like the chair and some of my stuff has been moved. There are some faint depressions in the carpet that would indicate footprints. They are significantly different from your footprints. Ooh, hope that'll become a tasty thing, on. These shoe impressions are very sharp and deep. Most of the weight of the person was focused on one point. Something sharp? A snatcher? That possibility exists. The footprints lead to the bathroom. I do remember a few parts of it, and my memory game was mostly positive. It's very unique. I love it. Right, let's save again. Because this might be about to be a life or death situation. If there is a snatcher, death is very possible. Okay. This is the bathroom. Hmm? It's really hot and humid in here. There is something in the shower. The electronic blinds of the glass door prevent identification of whatever is in the stall. I read movement. There's movement in this room. My thermosensor shows a region of concentrated heat. I would say that hot water is being used. The in-use sign is lit on the window. There is no one in the room. The shower stall is the only place that someone could be hiding. The temperature and humidity in this room is climbing, climbing rapidly. I read movement from within the stall. Should we, should we go after it? That would be a very dangerous move if it's a snatcher. Opening the stall is a simple matter. What are you going to do, Gillian? I'll open the blinds by altering the electrical polarity. Are you ready? Okay, go ahead. All right, now opening the blinds. Whoa! Whoa! You perverts! Get out of here! Oh, God! Your lesson, Gillian. Uh, 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 <laughs> oh. You definitely had that coming to you. Oh, yeah? Well, I didn't exactly see you close your eyes either. That is because my optical sensors are not equipped with retractable shutters. Oh, shut up. You know exactly what I mean. Here comes Katrina. I can't believe you did that, Gillian! Uh, well, uh, you see, I was just... Face up to it like a man. You shut up! I'm just glad that you're safe, Katrina. I was so frightened. I just looked up your address and I let myself in. I'm sorry. Did I surprise you? Surprise me? <laughs> you bet you surprised me. I'm sorry. That's all right. Uh, by the way, uh... How did you get in? Hey, I'm the daughter of a junker. I can pick locks in my sleep. Damn it. I see. And you avoided the censors as well. Hmm. You may have a promising career ahead of you. <gasps> Ooh. So yeah, Katrina was 14 in the original Japanese version of this game. In this version, her age is listed as 18.
It's the DB Stewart, welcome in. How are we gonna break into somebody else's house and be mad when they come up on you? We're literally being hunted by killer robots. We kind of have to be pretty careful and thorough. <laughs> Canuck, welcome in. How are you doing today? I mean, it's possible she's not a snatcher. I mean, you know, like they said, she's pretty tough. If she thought she was in danger, she might have bolted and went somewhere safe. Yeah, she could have gotten shot there. It was a very dangerous situation. <sighs> Do I have a big zit on my face or something? I'm gonna need to check out your towel. Don't you ever quit? I know what you have in mind. Maybe you should get some clothes on. Huh? I just took a shower, so I'm a little hot. I like to stay like this. Katrina, I can loan you some of my clothes. I may take you up on that in a few minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. You know, you're fine just the way you are. It's about Alice. What's wrong with Alice? You see, Alice is... Jillian? I uh, am, um, uh... What's wrong? Uh, forget it. I'll tell you later. You're weird. About that phone call. Would you tell me about what that was all about? That's right. When I was straightening up the living room, I found this inside the model of our house. Oh, yes, there was a model of Gibson's house on the shelf, wasn't there? Ooh! It's a list of hospitals! It appears to be a list of illicit medical facilities. It lists the name of the hospital, its director's name, its address, and area of specialty. Well then, the Snatcher's Place, the one that Gibson found, must be on this list! So that's what that search the house note that Gibson left meant. He was just a little too clever this time. Will this list be of any help? This list has over 3,000 names listed on it. We could never hit them all. We need some other information to narrow it down. What about the image from Little John's memory? That should be the key. If you type in the name of the hospital, I'll see in the list for you. Alright. I noticed they have an age thing here. Sky, welcome in. How are you doing today, Sky? I hope everything's going good with you. How old are you, Katrina? I turned 18 this year. Oh really? Jeez, I can't believe how quick kids grow up these days. Even so, I'm pretty old for a model. Oh great, so what does that make Jamie? About that phone call, would you tell me what it's all about? I think somebody was following me. I'm sure they were after my dad's list, but I couldn't get in touch with you. Sorry about that. I should have given you Metal Gear's number. I called before I entered your apartment, but I couldn't get in touch with you. Do you know anything about this list of hospitals? I've never seen it before, but if my dad kept it in the house model, it must have been really important. catch a cold. Okay, Gillian, I'll borrow some of your clothes, okay? Uh, wait a second, before that we need to talk. Alright, nothing else there. Alice is a fine dog. Isn't she? She's my only family now. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. <laughs> he actually oh jeez. Oh, jeez. I can't tell her the dog's dead. <laughs> it's not just me, see? <laughs> Sky, you got the chill out of the day, so that's good. Oh, that is wonderful. Hope you're feeling good then. Hope your upcoming weekend is going to be awesome as well. <laughs> What's a fine dog? It's true. 
He didn't make any marks on the list, so there must be some other key. Ampra, thank you so much for the gift sub to Sky there. Gift sub number 1,405 in the channel. Appreciate the heck out of that generosity. Thank you very much. What fine bribe! The finest of them all. Alright. To investigate hospital list. Can I take a look at that hospital list? Go ahead, take a look. What names does Olene bring to mind? That sign is definitely for the hospital, right? The visual image of Olene is almost certainly correct. So Olene is the starting point, right? Maybe we're reading it wrong. Depends on how you interpret Olene. Alright. Alright, Killian, let's see if we can find the Snatcher's Hospital on this list. What about that hospital that was in Little John's memory? Why don't you give a name similar to the one on that sign? Alright, so we'll just type in O L E E N, see if that comes up with anything. Olean, right? Okay, now searching. Not surprisingly, the only one is that veterinary hospital. Vrin! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> as long as there is no corruption of the image, we can be sure that the strokes in the letters of in Olene actually exist, right? Oh! The strokes, she says. What if, what if it's O-L-E-E-M? It was possible the N was cut off halfway at the edge of the image. Damn it. Think hard about the name in that picture. Wish I could see the picture again. Hmm. Let's see, Rin, you got a hint slash question. What are you thinking, Rin? Never mind, you see now? All right. Um. I was wondering if we had numbers. We do not appear to have numbers. We've got a dash, a period, and an apostrophe. I hope not. Hang on, I'm gonna see if I can find the picture here somewhere. I really want to see if I can uh, spot this again to actually see what the what the letters look like. Because they're talking about the picture and they're like, think real carefully about it and I'm like, show it to me. Just show me the damn picture. Um... I don't know. Hospital Olene. Um. And I'm looking to see if I can get a picture of this here. No, nothing there. Got a 
gotta be some way to see this. I'm thinking if I could just see it again, I might be able to figure this thing out. Not getting any luck. Um, here, let's go. I bet. Here we go. I bet I can find a picture here. So give me just a second, chat. I'll link it to you as well. And we can all take a look at it together. And then hopefully figure out, uh, hopefully figure out what this is supposed to be. Here we go. Here we go. Um, all right, chat, here is the picture in question. <laughs> oh, you sent it over. Oh no, wrong Olean, wrong Olean. That's the, that's the one that wasn't the right hospital. Uh, this is the actual picture we got from little John's memory. So this is the thing we're looking for here. This is the picture that uh, was taken there. Hospital Olean. And they mentioned it looks like it curves at the end as if it could possibly go around the corner. Um, I, I don't know. Let's see, relentlessly, I remember this part from watching another streamer play this and the answer to this is just stupid. Oh no. Uh, I wouldn't be opposed to just looking this up. Because I honestly have no idea. Um. I'm not sure. What? All right, yeah, I looked it up and it's fucking stupid. How are, hang on. That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. All right, yeah, I checked. I don't understand this puzzle. <laughs> I watch games, welcome in, how are you doing today? Oh god, yeah, it's not good. FD Earth, welcome in, hope you're doing good. So here's the thing. They said the clue is the fact that we found a chess piece inside of uh, uh, Jean-Jacques' apartment. So, you ready for the answer, chat? Look at that picture! I'm gonna link it in chat again so you can see how this doesn't make any sense whatsoever to me. Hang on. I'm throwing it in chat again. There we go. Rin, you can tell me why? All right, let's hear it. Let's hear it. Because I don't understand. Because lights burn out. Oh, we got some audio crunch? Thank you for letting me know. I suppose... So you're saying like the tail on the Q and the right side of the U have burned out and that we can't see the S because it's behind the curve. I don't know. If it helps, this is from the, the original from the MSX. Let's take a look at that. Wow, that is so blurry. I don't think that would change my uh, thinking very much, but thank you for linking it. Let's see. Yeah, if there would have been like something you could see there to indicate there was something burned out, that might be a thing. Grunt, you had trouble with this too? Oh, I didn't know you played this one. That's awesome. Thank you for letting me know about the crunchies. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. 
this doesn't strike me as a great puzzle. Like, I appreciate the fact there was a, a queen chess piece in Gibson's apartment, but still, like, I don't know, it feels like a stretch. Harry Mason, this puzzle took you hours of spamming the clue command. Fair enough. Understandable. Also, love your username. All right. Queens. All right. Now searching. It's here. Queens Hospital. Great, you found it, Gillian! So the neon tube was burned out, eh? And there were more letters to the word that was shown in the picture. So queens look more like Oli. That's what the chess piece was trying to tell us. Why would he have a chess piece laying around as a hint? Like, to who? Why? What's the address of that hospital? CX District, PHC 77. The director is Chinese. Name, Chin Shu O. Hmm, Chin Shu O. He's probably a snatcher, too. So we've finally found their nest. Gillian, please be careful. Don't worry, Katrina. You're safe now. They won't be coming after you. Just to be on the safe side. We will have Kobe police take you into protective custody. Gillian, I'm sorry about the way I reacted in the shower. Maybe if your timing had been a little better, we might have... Don't worry about it, Katrina. I think I needed a cold shower anyway. I'm... I'm just so confused. I don't want to lose anybody else. All right, let's go, Metal. We have to pay a visit to Queen's Hospital. Why didn't he mention that he's Chinese? I mean, we're in Japan. Japan is very mono-ethnic. So it's, it's, it's worth noting, I suppose. Shane, please do not question the genius of Kojima again. I will, and I shall. <laughs> I always have various random items on my person in case I die suddenly so that when somebody finds me, they can use them to piece together what I was doing. It's so weird. Yeah, we didn't tell her anything about the dog. That's that's going to be a fun surprise. <laughs> no, we're not telling her about Alice. Okay, let's get out to Queen's Hospital. This is it. All right, now heading for Queen's Hospital. <laughs> Rin, you're going to make it so your death triggers a scavenger hunt? Oh, God. I have had some people that uh, heard about some people that uh, set up some weird shit on their death. <laughs> oh God, all right, let me check something before we continue. What a, what a bad puzzle. I do not care for that puzzle. All right, so. Let's see here. Give me just a minute here. And we will continue. Yeah. All right. If Katrina was going to Gillian's for safety, why wouldn't she take Alice? Because Alice was actively barking at something outside. So for her to go towards Alice would also mean going towards whatever Alice was barking at. So it would have been more compassionate for her to do that, but also that could have gotten her killed. We might have been dealing with her body as well if she'd done that. Has anyone ever been buried with a geocache? Oh, God, that'd be grisly. I wouldn't be surprised if there's some tombstones with uh, geocaches in them, though. That would make sense. If only dogs could be trained to come to us. I mean, if Atlas thought there was danger outside, it would probably want to stay there and try and protect her from the danger, you know? Dogs. <laughs> This is Queen's Hospital. 
That sign! That's the one that was in Little John's memory, no mistake! Oh yeah, and you can see the bits uh, fritzing, fussing out there. The building dates from the 20th century. There is no sign that they are in business. The building is not typical of those constructed as hospitals. It was probably originally used as an office building or for some other purpose. The sign looks like it says Olean even from quite close. Sometimes people's preconceived notions are capable of distorting reality, aren't they? Yeah, see if you can Yeah, you can see the shadows occasionally when it flickers here. That would have made more sense to me. There is a rather wide road passing by the hospital. A number of cars are parked illegally on it. It's a round, pillar-shaped building of the kind that were popular at the end of the last century. The only entrance appears to be at the front of the building. Alright. Not surprisingly, part of the neon sign is, in fact, burned out. The broken neon tube is flickering occasionally. Right, right, right. It's facing the street, but things do not seem to be particularly well developed. We are quite a distance from any shopping or residential areas. The door is locked, but even I can open a mechanism this simple. Don't set off any burglar alarms or anything. Alright. That seems like all there is to see there, so... Oh, this seems super dangerous. Alright, so... Alright. The S does look tacked on. It, it's so, yeah, even in the image it looks like it was photoshopped in. Which is super weird. Ooh, what is that? Oh, that's the uh, the sign from up close in the uh, MSX version. Oh, that is so cool seeing how it looked in the original. Thank you so much for grabbing that image I watch. I really appreciate that. The insert was originally just Queen, but they added the S. I think the answer works with or without the S. That's so interesting. What the heck? Hey, Claire! Good to see you, too. How are you doing today? All right. I'll enter Queen Hospital's security program and disable the lock. Lock disabled. All right, I'll open the door. We're inside the hospital. Awfully dark. Alright, we're gonna save, cause, you know, this seems incredibly dangerous. A little tired, but doing okay, good to hear. A pergola? What is a pergola? I don't know if I'm familiar with that. Alright, let's see what we got around here. There is a reception booth in the center of the lobby and three doors along the wall behind it. This looks like the waiting area. Roof with no walls, gotcha, gotcha. The gazebo but no stairs and semi-permanent. Alright, that makes sense. There are no tracks in the dust that would indicate recent passage. It doesn't look like anybody's been here recently. Interesting. There is nobody in the booth. The monitors are switched off. Alright. That door. Door 1 is closed. Door 2 is closed. Door 3 is closed. Alright. It appears that it has been left like this for some time. Well, if they're not in business at the moment, what's the neon sign for? 
If it appears abandoned, homeless, homeless and other people may move into the building. Alright. What filth! There's no operational hospital in the world with floors this dirty. A solid layer of dust has collected. It hasn't been operated for several months. What's this? There are some kind of switches here. Gillian, look at this. It says door control. One, two, three. These switches must be for those doors over there. Apparently, they are operated from here. <laughs> no worries, Rin, no worries. DoorDash for Snatchers! Oh god, it would be. They don't take just anybody, though. Snatchers only take, as they call it, VIPs. People that are either important or connected to someone important. Did the Snatchers kill? Oh god, it does look like Space Ghost Desk. Or maybe Zorax? Possibly Zorax Desk. Alright, um... All right, so I'll push switch number one. Door number one opened. We're in room number one. There is an operating table. It would appear this room was used for surgery or treatment of some kind. X-ray equipment is installed into the walls. These monitors are for displaying images from various types of internal body cameras. There is a layer of dust on the sheet. I'm not reading any traces of Snow 9. The lens is clouded over. The monitors are shut off. Judging from the distribution and thickness of the dust, there is no sign that it has been moved recently. Alright, uh, doesn't seem like anybody's been in here. Now looking around the room, everything seems to be in order. Alright, I don't think there's anything worth seeing in here. Alright, let's... Let's keep things limited here, so we'll shut door number one. And we'll open door number two. I do wonder now if Radical Six was named based on Snow Nine. I'm pretty sure Snow Nine is based on Ice Nine from uh, Kurt Vonnegut's books. We were talking about that earlier. Um, it would kind of make sense considering Kojima loves his references. But was Radical Six taken from here? That's a good, uh, that's a good question too. I don't know too much about that one. Yes, keyboard overdrive. Yeah, I beat you to it. All right, door two. We're in room number two. <laughs> A number of specialized devices and machines are located throughout the room. Genital manipulators, various lasers, microsurgery implements. The place seems well equipped. Does that seriously say genital manipulators? What is a genital manipulator? Don't actually answer that. That's a rhetorical question. I'm mainly wondering, why does it exist? What is... what? I... no, I don't... what? What kind of hospital is this? Don't answer that either! There are jars for preserving items in formaldehyde and a number of other containers and chemicals. Yep, I believe 999 reference Ice 9 as well. <laughs> I guess relentlessly. Oh god. There are various types of biotech equipment. They are apparently carrying out some rather involved project. It's a very expensive monitor with super high resolution for medical applications. There is nothing pleasant in any of the containers. Equipment 
equipment and supplies for experiments have been left right where they were when they were being used. Hmm. <laughs> I have questions. I would suspect it would be difficult to artificially create the rundown equipment, a condition of this equipment. So yeah, basically the equipment appears to have aged naturally from uh, disuse. There is no sign that any of the containers or chemicals have been touched. They are all covered with an even layer of dust. There are a number of pieces of equipment, but none of them are set up for operation. This equipment would need extensive maintenance before it could be used. For some reason, a large number of these containers are empty. Alright, doesn't seem to be anything interesting in here, either. Alright, so same thing. We're gonna shut door number two. And let's check out door number three. <laughs> I was looking at those initially, I'm like, which one's the genital manipulator? Then I'm like, depends on what kind of manipulation. And then I'm like, I don't want to think about this anymore. <laughs> huh? It's totally dark in here, I can't see a thing. I have a light installed for just for situations like this. Please use it if necessary. It is necessary! Alright, alright, turn your light on. Yes, sir, coming on. The light is now on. I turn control of it over to you, Gillian. You operate the light with the direction key. Press the B button together with the direction key to move the light. Otherwise, the direction key navigates through commands as usual. Make sure that objects you wish to examine are centered in the light's beam. Alright. There we go. Alright, let's look around the room, see what we can see. It's a vase. There are no flowers in it. It's a completely ordinary vase. Alright, what is this? Some sort of console control? It's a whiteboard. Nothing is written on it. It's a whiteboard with a copy prevention device installed. Alright, what do we got over here? Nothing interesting, apparently. It's a drawer. Let's investigate this drawer. There seems to be a scrap of paper caught between these two drawers. The others are empty. It appears that someone tried to straighten up in a hurry. Let me see that paper. Here it is. What? What is this? It looks like Chinese or something. Metal translated. Okay, let's see. Patient record, first examination. I'm not familiar with the next five characters. It's the first time I've ever seen any of them. I thought you were supposed to be really good at Chinese. My strongest areas are in chop suey, egg foo young, and wontons. Hmm, rare Chinese characters. Or maybe some kind of code? At any rate, this is definitely part of someone's chart. If we can figure out these characters, we may be able to uncover another snatcher. What do you suppose happened to the other records? Looks like someone cleaned them out of here. Uh, maybe they knew we were coming. Somehow I get the feeling that the snatchers know what we're up to. I'll store the fragment of the file. Alright, well, that's a clue. I'll take that. Really, Dame Karen? That's interesting. Regison, welcome in. How are you doing today? Invasive procedure? I love it. I do love food, too. That's my uh, strongest area as well. Alright. I'm doing good, thank you. There's something on the desk. There's a box of matches on the desk. Oh my! These matches are from Outer Heaven! Outer Heaven seems to be quite a popular spot with our Snatcher friends. I would suspect that they go there to select their victims. Oh, for an indie film! That's super cool! That must have been a really interesting project. 
If only we could ask Mei Ling, where's my codec? <laughs> I will store these matches as evidence. Alright, that's interesting. Got a PC in here. It's a monitor. Looks like one for a personal computer. The monitor designed for use with a computer. It's not hooked up to anything. Ooh, what's this? The codex are for haters, goddammit! Oh, it's beautiful. A lot of hard work, but interesting, yeah? Oh, they're very cool. How did the film turn out, or have you seen the finished product? It's a picture of some kind of temple. It looks somewhat Islamic. I think I've seen this thing before. Damn, I just can't remember. It's a very old photograph. Judging from the condition of the inks and paper, I would suspect that it is at least 50 years old. What's a picture like this doing on the wall here? Metal, what is this a photo of? One moment, please. I'll scan my data files. I have a positive ID. It's the Cathedral of St. Basil. It's a famous cathedral that was a Moscow landmark before the catastrophe. St. Basil's Cathedral? Have I heard of that? I can't seem to remember. Come to think of it, there was a map of Moscow on the wall in Freddie Nielsen's apartment, wasn't there? Moscow, huh? What connection do the Snatchers have with Moscow? I've stored this photo in my memory. Alright. Wait a second. There are rails on the floor. They run under this desk. Perhaps this desk is designed to slide. Pushing it doesn't do any good. It won't budge. Well, ain't that interesting. Hmm. We just look at the desk by itself? No, not really. Can't look at that blinking light in the background. I don't know why that would be blinking like that. Um. Hmm. No, nothing else there. Damn, there's nobody anywhere. Is this really one of the Snatcher's hideouts? Ah, fair enough, Dame Karen, fair enough. Just relax, Gillian. It may not be much, but we have uncovered some clues. Alright, yeah, I guess we've seen everything we can see here. Or at least I can't think of anything else to see here. Let's see. Have we missed anything here? What if we just open all the doors? Does the switches do anything to the position of the desk, I wonder? I'm curious. No desk is in the same place there. Gotta be some way to move those rails, though. Holy shit, Dame Karen, that's impressive. Alright, let's try this then. I don't know if I'm barking up the, the wrong tree here, but... I think the 
moving the desk is what we need to be doing next here. Nope, nothing there. Let's exit here. Can we, let's see, possessions, investigate, evidence, patient record. Let's see, possessions, investigate, evidence, matches. Possessions, look, evidence, matches. Don't you think it's a little odd? There's no sign of anybody anywhere. Why don't we head out and see what we can make of the evidence we've gathered so far? Alright. Well, once again, we've got a connection to, uh, Outer Heaven, so maybe we should head over there. We have ghosts now? I hope not. Who would I call? Oh no, for some reason we can't go to Outer Heaven yet. There must still be something we can do in here. I think? I guess. Ghostbusters! Alright, um, let's try this. Use switches. Open door number two. And it's close door number one. I think that's the only combo we haven't tried. That still allows us to get inside room number three. Ah, I know. Well, maybe. Like, oh, did it move? I can't tell. No, it didn't move, damn it. Shoot. Yeah, there's gotta be some way to get it to move, but I don't see how. Very weird. Wow! <laughs> that was on my end, my bad. Ed, you got a hint? What are you thinking, Ed? Hmm. Maybe there's something we haven't looked at yet. Is that a window in the background? Uh, no, that's a whiteboard, actually. Maybe the key is not to get in that room directly? Well, that's weird. Let's see. still saying we should just leave. I don't know where he wants us to go, but he wants us to leave. Alright, uh, where else do we have to move then? There must be something we're missing here. Um, stop at Alton Plaza real quick. See if we see anybody familiar hanging around. Yeah, I have no idea why Metal's trying to get us to, to take off from there. Like, it feels like we haven't found everything yet, so I'm not really sure what else there is to see. That is really weird, though. 
Um... Actually, you know, I, I think I'm thinking of the right thing, but in the wrong way. Hang on. Because here's the thing, they keep mentioning that those are Chinese characters. We do actually know a character in the game that is Chinese. Maybe we could ask him. And that's our old pal, Napoleon. Let's see, 395644. Four. Let's see if maybe he'd know. Three, nine, five, six, four, four. The number you have reached is not in service at this time. Please check the number and dial again. This is a recording. JT and T Neo Kobe. That's funny, I'm sure I got the phone number right. Perhaps the Snatchers have killed Napoleon too. Huh? What's the symbol? It looks vaguely familiar. Where in the world is Napoleon gone? A wolfman, aha, now I understand. Gillian, I know where Napoleon is. Have you figured it out? Let's hurry up and head there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I know where it is. Napoleon is not French, though he is a fan of the, the actual historical figure, Napoleon. <laughs> Alright, now we have the option to go to outer heaven. I wanted to go there as soon as we found the matches, but now we've got an even more compelling reason to get there. All right. Let's make another save just in case things go very badly. It's that doorman with the wolf makeup again. Hey, are you who I think you are? Hey, what are you doing? Lay off! You really remind me of somebody I know. I bet that's you, right, Napoleon? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know anyone named Napoleon. I know it's you, Napoleon. Now I'll, I'll cut the stupid act. I'm afraid you've got the wrong man, sir. Come on, Napoleon, what's the problem? Stop this nonsense! Hey, I'm just the doorman! Napoleon, that's you, right? What a bother. Do you have any proof that this Napoleon and I are the same person? Everything will be fine. I guarantee your safety. Don't worry. Now take that mask off. You're gonna have to show me some proof, sir. Proof? You want proof? Uh, what proof do we have? Um... Smell? I've got it! You smell just like him! Huh? Gillian, what did Napoleon smell like? Shut up! Is that the best reason you've got? That's it! You and him are th he are the same height! If that's proof, then I'm a policeman. Yeah, you have the same voice, that's it! If that's proof, then I'm a policeman. No. That's it, Metal! Analyze his voice print against that of Napoleon. I'm sorry, Gillian, I haven't stored any of Napoleon's voice data. I won't let it happen again. Well, that's really too bad! God damn it, Metal Gear! Oh, you have one job. I know, the two of you talk the same way. 
So what? What's that supposed to mean? Yeah, that wormy, untrustworthy attitude of yours is just like him. That's no proof. Huh? Hachu! Excuse me. He's only got 128k of memory. I thought that was all he'd ever need. <laughs> now I've got it. It's that sneeze. I remember. You sneeze just like him. He has hay fever. Hachu! Alright, you win. I've had enough fun for now. I just wanted to play with you for a bit. Nice work, Gillian. You're a first-rate junker. Go on in. Have a seat, Gillian. We're safer in a crowded place like this. Jeez, you really had me fooled. Two rolls in one. <laughs> this tight. Well, you know, you gotta understand. Being an informer isn't exactly the safest job on the planet, you know. That's why it's important to be a master of disguise, like me. Yeah, but I feel pretty stupid. I mean, all that time I was asking you about where Jean went, I didn't realize I was asking someone who actually worked there. Hey, I was just as surprised as you were. But I didn't know that Gibson had been here. You see, I wasn't working that day. Anyhow, it's not masquerade night today. Uh, why don't you take that mask off, Napoleon? It's a little unnerving sitting here talking to a wolf. Uh, all right. I suppose there's no harm there. Boy, ugh, you really work up a sweat in these full-face masks. Oh, boy. Uh, maybe you should have left that on. <laughs> what? Ah, pfft, uh, 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 still, you did a nice job of figuring out who I was. Come on, Napoleon. That stupid phone recording with the Wolfman? JT&T would never do anything that tasteless. Besides, what really tipped me off was that constant sneezing of yours. Sneezes, eh? Well, listen, you want me to tell you why I'm called Napoleon? Because winter gets the best of you. Napoleon Bonaparte sent his enormous army into Russia in 1812, but suffered a major defeat because of the snow. Oh, I get it. Yeah, but this sneezing isn't a cold. It's my allergy to snow nine pollen. So, anyhow, what did you want to know? I've got a couple of questions to ask you. Eh, fire away. Coincidentally, I had to sneeze right there, too. <laughs> That's actually brilliant. He's named Napoleon because winter gets the best of him. I love that. It's so cool. That doorman looks suits you, Napoleon. Heck of a lot better than that Santa get up anyway. Mind your own business. Is Shane a snatcher? The snatchers don't get the sneezes. People around snatchers do. There's a snatcher around here? Oh god. It's not masquerade time at the moment, but don't be staring at the customers, okay? Makes them nervous, you know. I know I love that Harry Mason! Oh, it's so good. Don't worry, we'll be safe at this table. It's the most isolated in the place. With this many people here, we won't stand out. You can talk safely about anything you'd like. I've scanned for listening devices, and there are none. Feel free to discuss anything you like. Come on, you gotta learn to trust people! So you're Chinese, right? That's right. Pure bread, I might add. Came to Neo Kobe just after I turned 20. Alright, so let's show him the patient record. Would you take a look at this for me? What's it mean? You're Chinese, right? Well, well, I'm not surprised you had trouble with this. What's that mean? These are Chinese characters for chemical elements, hardly in standard use. If I wasn't a science major, I probably wouldn't know them myself. It's a simple code using the characters. So what's this about Chinese chemical element characters? What do you mean? The character on the far left is beryllium. The next one and the very last one are nitrogen. The third one stands for sulfur and the fourth one is for oxygen. Beryllium, nitrogen, sulfur, oxygen. I've got it. Gillian, let's go over the names of these elements, shall we?
I think I've got an idea here. So hang on, hang on. Let me write this down here. We got beryllium nitrogen. Uh, let's see. Sulfur. All right, so beryllium, nitrogen, sulfur, oxygen, nitrogen. Have you seen Cheryl? She's seven, brown hair, and eyes. <laughs> that was a weird pause in that sentence. I apologize. Beryllium, nitrogen, sulfur, oxygen, nitrogen. Right. Whose name is on this file? Please input your guess. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Uh, let's see. Um. Hang on a second. Wait, no, hang on. I was trying to make something out of the letters and there's nothing you can make out of those letters, but if you add one letter, you can make something out of them. I don't know what to make of it, but... So that's it. Benson. Beryllium is B-E. Nitrogen is N. Sulfur is S. And oxygen is O. And another N makes Benson. The name Benson was encoded on this file. Benson. I sure hope it is not referring to the chief, Benson Cunningham. Or to our friendly engineer, Mr. Harry Benson. No, that couldn't be. No way! But the possibility, though remote, does exist. Metal, I want you to cut off all your data transmissions to headquarters now. Understood. Now disabling automatic transmission routines. Done. No further data transmissions to headquarters will be executed. My God, a snatcher in Junker headquarters? We've got to get there quick. Let's go, Metal. See you later, Junker. Today's little information tidbit is on me. Now take care, Gillian. Don't get yourself taken out by some snatcher. I think I'll lay low for a while. You know, after all, you are my main source of income. You be careful too, Napoleon. You get killed and you won't be able to sneeze anymore. What's that supposed to mean? See you, Napoleon. Metal, let's go. What is that supposed to mean? Sparrowgrass, welcome in. This game is cool as hell. I love it. All right. Time to go to HQ. We've got questions that desperately need answers. Mika, the Chief and Harry, they're... The Chief and Harry are out right now, I think. Oh, really? Alright, well, let's make a save here. And let's put it right here. Alright. And folks, I think this is probably going to be a good place to stop for the day. But, uh, it's actually possible we might beat the game tomorrow at this rate. Uh, so yeah, I, I'm, I'm... We're going to see how things go tomorrow, but yeah, we might be beating it tomorrow. So, uh, if you're enjoying it, I hope you'll join us then. That disguise again! That genital manipulator again! 
<laughs> God, I hope not. Uh, <laughs> so thank you everybody for joining us today. I appreciate the heck out of it. I hope you're having a fantastic time. I don't mean to end it on a cliffhanger, but like, I don't know that it's going to slow down at any point from here on out, you know? Harry Mason, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. As always, it has been a blast hanging out with all of you. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm, I'm having so much fun playing this game. It's so cool. It's so weird and it's so cool and so stylish. I love it. Hope you guys are enjoying it too. So we are going to wrap it up here. We're going to go ahead and hit finish here. All right, that's enough for now. Gillian, I hope we can continue the investigation together soon. I love that they have a little jingle for that. That's so freaking cute. <laughs> uh, so we're going to wrap it up here, but if you've got a minute to spare, I would really appreciate it because... We've still got to see who all else is online, so if you're not done watching Twitch, maybe I can send you some more cool. I would like the opportunity to. So make sure to hit follow if you haven't already. That'll be the quickest way to find me tomorrow or at any point if you'd like to come back. And while I am looking to see who all is live, there are some links in chat you might want to check out if you haven't seen them already. Including a link to my YouTube if you want to see any of the games that have played in the past, or if you want to get caught up on Snatcher, all the VODs are going to be going up there. And we have a link to my Discord if you would like to chat with me or the rest of the community outside of the stream. Feel free to join us there. We'd love to have you. And... We're going to see if this person's wrapping up right this second. They have been going for a very long time, but if they're not ending immediately, I would like to stop in there because this is a game I think you folks are really going to enjoy. So, ladies and gentlemen, I would love it if you would join me as we go say hello to friend of the stream, uh, Sharpie. He is a fantastic retro streamer trying to beat all of the uh, Sega console games in North America. And he is so close, it's shocking. And today he is playing Legacy of Kane for Dreamcast. I didn't remember it had a Dreamcast version, but that is a joy of a game. So why don't you join me over there, say hi to Sharpie, hang out for a bit. Throw him a follow if you like what he's doing. But hey, if you've got other things to do, I will just say as I always do. Have a good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you're at in the world. I will see you folks tomorrow for some more Snatcher. Take care of yourselves till then, everybody.